And we're live. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the closing show. So this shit right here is staying right here all year. But this shouldn't be stressful at all. That's twenty five hundred just because you wouldn't give it to me. Jeans, private stock, lead, motherfucker. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Closer's Cage Match number one. Tonight, we've got something in store for you guys that you guys would never have thought you'd be seeing live. Tonight, we've got RJ Bates, the King Closer, the third, going live head-to-head -head against Aaron Bevins. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, this beef has been broiling for decades. It's serious. We can't even keep them in the same room because it gets to punches, it gets to blows. It's It's nasty. So what the format of tonight is going to be, it's going to be head-to-head, -head, call to call matchup. We're not doing an hour long. We're not worrying about people are picking up or not. What we're doing is RJ calls, Aaron calls. Actually, it's the other way around. Aaron calls, then RJ, back and forth, back and forth. And at the end, you get to decide who you think won. You'll be involved in a community poll, so we don't have to worry about judges or you guys feeling cheated out of it tonight. It's about you guys getting to see some amazing closers, getting some wins, getting some contracts, and squashing the beef. The King Closer title, as you guys will see, is going to go to the winner of tonight. And then from there, they can accept a challenger, hold on to it forever, or who knows what. But allow me to introduce, first and foremost, our competitors. We've got RJ Bates, Aaron Bevins, and of course, our lovely other host, Gene the Mean Blinkov. What's up, guys? What's going on? What's up, Aaron? Like, I, can't, I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. This is crazy. I can't believe these guys can be in the same show and the same life together <laughs> and actually not like not kill each other. <laughs> you can feel the tension from over here. It's dangerous. <laughs> Aaron, have you ever seen a belt like this before? This is the only thing that, that I, I want to know. When when I win at the end of this show, are you going to be mailing that belt over to me so I can see it in person? You you want to wear a belt with my name on it? I mean, I'll scratch it out and put Aaron <laughs> underneath it, bro. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, hey, I uh, I appreciate you uh, coming and uh, putting your brand on the line again. Um, <laughs> You know, I, would, I would think after two defeats, it would have been it would have been over. But you just wanted to do one one on one personal. So, look, it's like this, man. I, I've said this before. You know, Jordan lost to the Pistons a few times before he came back and 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 hit him with the two peat, bro. So I'm I've been I'm born and ready for this, man. I'm excited. Uh, I love how you compare yourself to Michael Jordan. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Aaron, Aaron, I, hey, from my end too, brother. Thank you so much for being here, man. Thank, thank you for uh, being here, dude. I'm so pumped. This is gonna be, this is gonna be awesome. No, I'm, great too, time. Man. I, I'm excited. I, I'm excited. All, all jokes aside, I, I say this before we we get started on this. Um, RJ, RJ is to me. <clears throat> I really, RJ is a special person, and I and I, and I love him to death. But I, I always liken him to. He's that one friend in the in in the schoolyard that you know there's just a rivalry and y'all are friends after the game, right? But during the game, you're you're like you're elbowing each other and you're pushing each other and somebody might end up with a bloody mouth, man. And and uh, but you know, in the in the end, in the end it's all love, man. But I'm I'm here to compete, I'm ready to make it happen. I love it. Okay, so the 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 way this is gonna work right is that I, I i challenged you last week aaron I, I know you weren't on the live when i actually did it but I, I challenged you to come on here and i said i wanted you to call first okay mm -hmm. so you have every advantage we're calling well, you get to pick which lead you're calling mm -hmm. so well, we have a list of ppc leads right from speed to lead mm -hmm. and and you've got access to them right mm -hmm. okay yep. so you get to pick which ones you want liam do we have it where we're using the same list you guys have the exact same list now. So how this is going to work is now you guys have the opportunity to dial back on one another. If Aaron calls somebody and messes up and fails, or if, if RJ calls somebody and they don't pick up, you guys can flip-flop and call each other's leads to try and get a win out of somebody else's bucket. Steal it right out from underneath them. Ooh, I like that. I like I that a lot, Liam. Nice. I, That's I awesome. Don't, 
I don't have that. I don't have that uh that shared list. I have the one that was shared with me personally, but I don't I don't have that other one. You know what? I'll actually do it. it makes more sense, right? I'm just gonna share the uh I'm gonna share that one that I shared with um Aaron with uh RJ. So I just shared that Lori with is there. like yeah. <laughs> Lori's like, what a time of year, no one is picking up calls. This is the best. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> 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 I guarantee you we have some great conversations tonight. Yeah, same, same. All right, buddy. You're All right, up. we ready? We ready? Yep. Let's run this thing. This is exciting, man. Can y'all hear the, the phone? Yep. Yes, we can. That sounds great. Lovely. <clears throat> Please leave your message for. All right. So, so does that that counts as a as a as a as one dial? That that counts as your dial. I no, <laughs> you got right. no no you got well. Oh, it was a voicemail. Is that, that, that is, is that's his dial? This is savage shit, Gene. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm cool. No, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Let's run it. Let's, let's run, run it. Let's run it. Let's run it like that. Yeah, okay, I like it. I like it. <laughs> All right, now we got Championship Bates the Third up on his dial. Let's, and let's just to remind it. everybody, iSpeedToLead.com is a platform where you can buy PPC leads a la carte. On the show, we call the ones that you didn't buy. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Goodbye. Ah, oh, don't even have a chance to leave a voicemail. Very good. I love it. All right, I'm down in my next one. And you know what's funny? I legitimately, from the first Closers Olympics, I've been looking forward to an opportunity to do something like this and just go toe to toe with RJ Bates, man. <sighs> <clears throat> Come on, Stephanie, pick up the phone. Oh, RJ, do not let me win, bro. I'm going to talk so much trash, dog. <laughs> <laughs> RJ puts the J in Savage. <laughs> Even though there's no J. <laughs> Please leave your message for 5775. Five two one eight one five zero four. Hey Stephanie, this is Aaron. I was calling about the property on Twenty First Street. I just uh, I saw that you you were interested in selling it. Feel free to call me back as uh, at your earliest convenience. My number is eight three zero two. And hopefully we can talk soon. Bye. Go ahead. I already dialed mine. Savage. Wow, that is savage right there. He said, "Go ahead." He's not I, even waiting. I dial, I dialed mine, and, and it said, "Not accepting calls at this time." Oh, okay, got you, got you. <laughs> Three it didn't five. even I, ring. I like that. If 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 one person gets the uh, the voicemail, the other person just starts dialing. I love it. I love right. it. Four a four. Gonna have to load more leads into your answer, sure. <clears throat> Oh, you Why called the same one as me. <laughs> you fell for it. Bro, you're a savage, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, is Chris there? Who's this? This is RJ Bates. I was calling you because you entered your information on our website about selling your property. Hey, how you doing? 
Are you still uh, looking to sell that property? Yeah. Excellent. What can you tell me about it? Uh, what do you need to know? Is it vacant, occupied? What's the condition like? No, uh, it's occupied. Gotcha. Is it owner occupied or tenant? Owner. Gotcha. And uh, what's the condition like? Uh, the condition is good. I'm living in the house. Right. How much are you looking to get for it? What do you got to offer? <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to have to get some information out of you one way or another, so I'm going to have to keep asking some questions so I can figure that out. Um, right so you, you've been living in it for a while. I mean, have you done any remodeling to it or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I've done actually a few things. Okay, like what? I put a brand new furnace in brand new ac uh brand new water heater uh what else brand new windows brand new plumbing brand new flooring throughout the house and how long ago did you do those items the, the roof is also say about five years old okay and i just put in a privacy fence last summer you know the white one right and Pretty much, that's about it. I gotcha. How come you're looking to sell the property? I'm looking to go a little north from here. Gotcha. Get a bigger house. I got two kids. Okay. On the on the website, it said that you were selling a, a vacant, non-occupied house. So I just want to make sure that we're talking about the, the right property. We're talking about 1481 East Muir, right? hasn't been vacant since the day I bought it. Okay. Well, just on the website, how it came through, it could have just been, you know, wrong button push or something like Yeah, something like that. So. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So you're looking to move a little bit north. You've done some remodeling to it. How quickly are you looking to, to move? Uh, I need some time to find another place. Probably 30 to 60 days. Okay. The day of sale. All right. Well, we can definitely accommodate that. That's not a problem. Beautiful. Um, is there anything in particular that you could tell me about the property? Because the way that, we, let me explain the way that we work. So I'll make you an offer over the phone now. Okay. And, and if we can agree to that, then I'll send over a purchase agreement for you to sign. And then okay. at that, and then at that point in time, we would come out, we would do our inspection and then let you know if we're ready to move forward based off the information that was provided in tonight's phone call. Beautiful. Okay. So, um, with that being said, um, is there anything in particular that you want to tell me about the property that I would <laughs> notice with an inspection being done on the property? Uh, nothing to my knowledge. I mean, I'm living in it. Right. No appliances, no, there's, you know, no holes in the wall or anything like that that, that needs to be worked on? Uh, no. Okay. Well, based off the information that I'm looking, so we are a cash offer. We buy as is, where is. We cover the closing costs. There's no commissions or anything like that. So the only thing that you would pay is if there's an underlying mortgage or any liens on the property, you would cover those. And then you would cover the prorated taxes on the property. Outside of that, the number that we're giving to you would be net to you. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So I'm based off the information I'm looking at, I'm probably going to be somewhere around $50,000 cash. You said 50000 Yes, sir. Oh, no, I can't do that. Okay. Well, it sounds like you had a number in mind. Well, I just spent a bunch of money on it the last few years, so well, I, can't do, I can't do that. What was the number that you were looking to get? I'd take 110 today. Hmm. Yeah, I got too much money invested in this property. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to be able to get to to 110,000. I I don't see property selling for that much in the area. Uh, houses over here going for 200, like my house. If you, if you go if you go in the Hazel Park listings, 
There's houses for 150 to 200. Do you have a Do you have a specific address that you could give me? I mean, all you gotta do is search uh, on the web. All right. Well, let me do that real quick because I'm on a website right now looking at comps in the area within a half mile radius, and I'm I'm just I'm not seeing that. So let me let me search somewhere else and see because maybe the information that I'm looking at is incorrect. That's that's what got me interested to sell my house was because that's the price that's going. You know. Right, and you're wanting to cash out that equity. Well, yeah. I mean, that's nowhere close fifty thousand, man. That's nothing. Well, I would agree if if the information I'm looking at is incorrect. You can't even get a house for fifty thousand today. So what I was looking at was is like fourteen seventy five East Hayes. That was a okay. little bit smaller. Um, and, and that could have, there could have been something wrong with that property, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm just looking at the information here. So now I've gone to Zillow and I'm seeing what they've got on here for, for solds. Let me get that. I mean, you can see what the last houses are sold. I think my, I think my offer up so did your, uh, your woman there. Well, yeah, it's kind of insulting, you know. Yeah. I mean, today's market—you can't find a house for fifty thousand that needs even stuff done to it. Right. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the the square footage of your property is seven hundred and eighty-eight square feet, right? Correct. Correct. So the the properties that you're seeing that are selling for more are they they just they're like there are a lot more square footage. That's the problem. I mean, I see one that sold for 115, but even that was a uh, 160 square feet larger. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm probably just not, I'm probably not going to be the right buyer for you. Cause I'm just not seeing the, the same values as you. No problem. All right, man. Have a good night. You too. All right. Bye-bye. That was Too fair. Far off. Yeah, that was fair. That was fair, RJ. I have an ARV of eighty-five thousand on that one. So, so let me ask you, RJ. You don't even bother trying to explain like the investor's point of view. I know some <laughs> people really preach that, where they'll go in and they'll actually explain, you know, from the investor's point of view, why or why not they can't make this offer. We didn't have any motivation, and. Mm -hmm. He's got a woman in the background screaming. I don't know if you could hear that. Yeah. So. I mean, for me, it just. I'm not going to lack of motivation. Time on something like that. And RJ, the insulter. <laughs> Please leave your message for. Dang it. You got to triple dial that thing, though. Yeah, let's triple dial this. I'm going to yeah, triple yeah. dial this. I'm triple dialing. Do it. I'm triple dialing. Triple dial, SMS, whatever you gotta do. Hey, it's it's Christmas Eve, like well, not Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve Eve. Yeah, it's uh, on my calendar. It's already twenty four. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's late for you. Please leave your message for. I'm calling one more time. Go for it. When I beat RJ in this uh, in this competition, he's shaving his beard clean off to the skin. <laughs> <laughs> we got to put him through one of those filter apps that removes the beard. So he looks like something, tells, something, something tells me that's not happening. <laughs> uh, I'm leaving a message. 
Hey, Davis, this is Aaron. I was calling about the property there on Spring Street. Uh, feel free to call me back. Um, I saw that you had uh, put information in there to see if you were interested in uh, that you were interested in selling. My number is 830-200-129. Oh, and you should also text them because if they call hey, you Hey, is Mark there? Speaking. Hey, Mark, this is RJ Bates calling you about your property on Brentwood Avenue. Uh, you, had entered it, you had entered it on our website saying you were uh, interested in selling that property. I did, and I've taken the, just signed a contract for it. Oh, man. Yeah. You, you, so we're, we're pending. I got you. Well, congratulations on that. Thanks. All right, buddy. Have a great night and a Merry Christmas. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Hey, that's what happens when you don't buy some of these leads. So Listen. you're telling me the leads are good, Gene. I see. <laughs> leads are okay. Leads are, leads are. Yeah, they're all right. These are all right. <laughs> hey, these are these are really good. We're getting, Let's see. What was his motivation on that one? His motivation was divorce and relocating. Ooh. So you would have seen that as the lead comes if you were. RJ, you want to show, show that the platform on the screen a little bit? So I can get it pulled up. I got it. Throw your code up there. I really like how RJ explains it. <laughs> you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up so as you guys can see here here is one in pompano beach florida it's brand new there was a death in the family right they said the property's in fair condition but you know as well as i do that they are liars the roof needs replacement it needs <laughs> air conditioning paint inside paint outside kitchen appliances kitchen cabinets flooring and the bathrooms need work it's vacant and there's no mortgage That's a lead you can buy right now on the website. And this is a city with 112,000 people in it. It's one of the best leads I've ever seen, Hello. actually. Hey, is David there? Is. Hey, David, this is RJ Bates calling you about your property on Gamble Avenue. You had entered it on our website saying you were looking to sell that property. Yeah. Are you still looking to, to, to sell that one? Yeah. Excellent. Well, can you tell me a little bit about the property so I can determine what our offer would be? Uh, let's my wife talk to you. I'm driving. Okay, sounds good. It's three properties, actually. It's, um, but there's only one house. And two are big Hey. Sorry, I it's getting really difficult for me to to hear you. Do you have me on speakerphone? Hey there. Yes, much better, much better. <laughs> it's three properties combined. It's thirty three eleven, thirty three oh five, and thirty three oh one. And this past summer, we put a privacy fence around the um, from the front of thirty three oh one house. All the way up to 3315, down the side, around the back. It's all fenced in. And uh, plus, we have a big dog room built in it. Um, the house is four bedroom, one bath, one bath downstairs, unfinished. It's like a half bath. Right now, the toilet works, and the plumbing picked up from the shower. It's just not completed. We were going to do the walls and floor and everything in tile, and they haven't done it. Okay. Um, furnace is like 15 years old. Roof is 15 years old with 30 year shingle. The water heater is about four years old. Um, AC is about 10 years old. It has central air. It's gas forced air. He has a working gas fireplace in the living room. Let me let me verify this real quick. I got 3301, 3315, and what was the that's the last one? No, not 3315, 3305, and 3311. 3311, 3305. Our property runs up to 3315. Oh, okay, I got you. 3301 is a corner lot, which is larger lot for most of the houses there in the city. And then we have two other lots combined with it. 
it when we sell, we'll be selling all three together. Gotcha. So it's it's a house with two vacant lots right next to it. Right. Gotcha. Okay. And is the property itself, is it occupied, vacant? We live in the house. Gotcha. Okay. And how much are you looking to get for, for all three? Um, I was looking at 120. Okay. We wanted 140, but I know cash are off for probably get 120. Okay. And the property itself is 966 square feet. No, that's the house. Right, that's that's what I meant. The the house. It's like the the land itself is 12,000 some square feet. Right, but the house itself is 966 square feet. Yeah, I don't know how those measurements go, but that's what it's listed online, yeah. Okay. Is there any, are there any repairs that you know need to be done to the property? There's no major repairs needed. There's no leak. The basement is uh, waterproof with Everdry with a lifetime guarantee. It has no leaking whatsoever. The roof does not leak. The windows have all been replaced up for the front windows, which my husband and I were fighting about whether to keep them or not. I kind of like the antique of them because they're original windows with the leaded glass. So all the other windows have been replaced. Some of the basement windows have been glass blocked in. The shower and kitchen have been redone. There's a jacuzzi tub in the bathroom. Um, the, the kitchen walls and everything were redone. There was a fire in the house about 10 years ago that maintained to the kitchen only. And so it was redone then. Okay. Give me a few minutes here. I'm just, I'm trying to find other comparable properties to it and see what I can offer here. How quickly are y'all looking to, to sell and move? We're not in a hurry because we can't close on a house till July. But actually, we just started looking and putting stuff in, trying to fill the waters. Gotcha. So if I made you an offer now... Are you in a position where you would want to accept or or if you, if you like the terms? It or? would depend on the offer. If you made me an offer I couldn't resist, yeah, then I'd, I'd be willing probably to move somewhere until we close someone on top. But if not, yeah, I'm, I don't know. One, one offer was already did. Let me rent back for six months or something, lease back to them. But. Yeah. Um. We're looking to move out in the country is why we're wanting to move. I see. My husband's retired. I'm retired. And I kind of want to do like a nursery business. I have a greenhouse back there right now. There's there is a 12 by 12 storage shed behind the house. And then there's one over on 3311 property with along with the greenhouse at the 12 by 12 building. But those I'd be sending back because we were leasing those. The only one that's really paid off is the one behind the house, the 12 by 12. Okay. It does have its own private drive. Um, being in the city, there's an alleyway that runs behind the house with alley access, but the privacy fencing around has front and rear access gate. So the the person who made you the offer that was willing to lease it back to you for six months, I mean, did they give you an offer at a price that you liked? No. Gotcha. I see, because. What I'm seeing is, is I'm probably not going to be at 120,000. Um, uh-huh. that, that seems like that's going to be pretty high for a cash offer. Um, do you own the property free and clear or, or do you have a mortgage on it? The house is a mortgage. The other properties are free and clear. I see. Um, I mean, there could be something that we could do there creatively, but. I mean, to be honest, with you, it sounds like you guys want to to sell the property and then take that cash and use it to, to purchase a new property, right? Correct. I see. Um, unfortunately, I just I don't think I'm going to be up at that one hundred twenty thousand dollar range. Um, it looks like I'm probably going to be more in the eighty to eighty five thousand dollar range. 
And I'm assuming that's probably where the, the other offer came in as well. Um, no, it was over 100000 but it wasn't where I wanted it. Gotcha. All right. Well, I'm definitely going to be uh, less than a hundred thousand. Um, that's, I just, there's, there's no way I can, I can make those numbers work out just as an investor, just looking at it. It just, it wouldn't make sense that way. Okay. Good. All right. Thank you. All right. Have a great night. Sometimes there's just nothing you can do on that. Well, I did. I didn't like that house. It, it was in a good area and it hit a hedge fund and it was in Cincinnati. Um, but I just, just wasn't what you were looking for. Not at that price, at least. I have one comp at 110, another one at 110, but then I had a, a couple, but they were further away at like 145. So. Mm. No bueno. No bueno. Been forwarded to an I'm double tapping. Double tapping at home. <laughs> everybody, this is the iSpeed Delete platform right here. You guys can see that there's just leads on leads on leads on leads that you guys can come and take a look at. Use code first99 on checkout to get your first clearance lead for only a dollar. It's a pretty good price. Aaron, why don't people want to talk to you? <laughs> A call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Eight, one, four. It's because they know seven, that they don't seven, stand a chance one, against the, five, uh, eight, nine, eight. the sales is ability. Not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, Michael, this is Aaron. I was calling about the property there on Hillview. Just wanted to see if you were still interested in selling it. If so, definitely feel free to call me back at 830-200. Sure, RJ is already ready to dial. And in what platform you... are you the using to call from? Cell phones right now. Yeah. We might get a nice integrated software uh, up and running, but it's it's difficult to get you know guys set up to be calling back and forth like this unless they just use their own stuff. Aaron, why don't you let people hear your cell phone number? <laughs> <laughs> I gave it out last week on the show. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Hello? Hey, is Robbie there? Hello? Robbie? Uh, what's up? Hey, man. Woo! Got him, coach. <laughs> got me good. <laughs> Flip it, boys. That right there is going into the uh, history books. RJ gets scammed. That's an Aaron Bevin special right there. He put that lead right in there. I know. He, 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 he that on the guy. Your call was going on too long. He's typing stuff in. He's like, I know this one. I'm not about to get Tyrone Wood lead live. <laughs> Dude, he got, you know, there, some people, they think that it was actually set up because they saw Jake Paul do some hand movements, right? Nah, right that before, was, like, I don't care. I don't care what nobody says. There is no way that was that was uh, set up. That man got rocked. It was rocked. a hard hit. He got rocked. That man got like, rocked. Please leave your message. All right, go ahead, RJ Fakes. I'm, what I'm going to do is instead of double tapping, that way I'm not taking your time, I'll just I'll text them afterward, and if, if they call back, then I'll run it. Very cool. good. This is a crazy night to be calling on. Damn. 
Um, it's good for people to see this though, because this is this is part of the game, right? This is part of the discipline, I believe. Is just is running through your numbers. Felix says, "What's the name of the platform? Which which platform? iSpeedDelete.com is going to be the uh, the main platform." Alex, we're going to be going for two hours. Hello. Hi, is Rosemary there? Yeah. Hi, Rosemary. My name's RJ Bates, and you had entered your information on our website about selling your property on 170th. Yeah. Are you still looking to sell that property? Yes. Excellent. Is now a good time to talk to you? Okay, who are you? My name is R.J. Bates. R.J. Bates. B-A-S-E? B-A-T-E-S. B-A-T-C-H. You, you had... Uh, you had... Oh, hey. That's, that's my grandmother's maiden name. Oh, really? Well, maybe, yeah. maybe we're related. Emma Hughes. Like my mother's mother. Do you have do you have Viking blood in your bloodline? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I all I know is we're I was Polish and part Indian. Polish and part Indian. That's that's well, Cherokee. Just a snake of Cherokee, which I didn't know until my sister did an Anderson. You know what we just call that pure American. That's what that means. Uh-huh. Wow. All right. Grandma so Bates. Grandma Bates. I love it. So, so where are you located? I live in Fort Worth, Texas. Oh, Texas. Eh? Ever been there, but uh, my sister has. She was there with her husband in the service. Um, so, what happens from here? Well, you want to sell this property and I want to buy the property. So hopefully we can come to an agreement here. Tell me what's, what's going on. Are you living in the property or is it vacant or what's happening yes, to it? I've been here 17 years. Gotcha. It needs like cosmetic, uh, I was going to say surgery, <laughs> cosmetic, <laughs> you know, care. Like it needs to be painted on the inside. Right. We did landscape the outside, but being in Florida, it's hard to, because of the sand but we do have green grass and there's a big front yard and backyard and uh it's eight rooms ranch style okay and been here 17 years and it's like it's supposed to be four bedrooms but i use one for an office and there's a fish room i call the fish room because it's behind the big fish tank in the wall and you go back there and take care of the fish. And we have a solar, new solar hot water tank, um, which I'm still paying, almost finished. And the air conditioning is about five, six years old. That's new. And, well, new considering. And two car garage. Did you look at it online? I have. I'm looking at it right now. Okay, you see the two car garage attached to the side, and then there's um entranceway, and then there's uh, a living room, dining room, <clears throat> kitchen, and two and a half bath. Gotcha. I'm trying to think what else. And it's a, uh, it's a gorgeous I property. I like it. It's in a good location. There's only a mile and a half from the plaza where there's um grocery shopping gas station tax office um china restaurant um i don't know what else is in there across the street is a dollar store and then there's another dollar store about a block away right and that's only a mile and a half so it's a good location and it's right off of 40 which goes from daytona all the way to West Coast, 75, and um, it's the only road that does in Florida, and um, good 
vocation. Pretty sure she owes more than what we're going to uh, offer. But. Been here 17 years. My husband passed away four years ago, so I'm looking to see what I can, because it's too big for me. And I see. Well, I'm sorry to hear about your, your husband's passing there. I'm yeah. Those are, he was in the Army. The Florida Cemetery there. Military Cemetery. Um, so with with that with all that being said, did did you have a specific number in mind that you're looking to get for this property? When I looked it up online, it was worth two twenty, and this was about a week ago. So, uh, but I you buy it as is, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So um, you were looking at the number that Zillow gives you. It, the 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 two twenty that you saw is is that based off of what the Zillow said it was worth? Yeah, I think it was. Gotcha. I I looked it online and I do a lot online and um so I have people that are here that I don't want them to know anything. I'm making them if they have any questions. I'm just having an estimate to get a refinance. Gotcha. Okay, so if you ever call, don't leave any message like, oh, I'm the lawyer, you know. So, Unders understood. I, I won't do that to you. So. I don't, I don't want them to know what I'm doing. Right. And I hope they're not listening to me now. I'm locked in my little office here, but they always got their ears out listening to my business. Right. And uh, I'll just tell you ahead of time because. So on on the the two twenty, obviously, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to get the two twenty with making it at, with an as is offer. Um, so did you have a, a more realistic number there for me? Yeah, I would say at least one ninety five. Okay, because I figured it's only like if even five thousand, not even that much to bring it up to par. Oh, another thing is I have um. We put in granite counters in the kitchen. Okay. And in the in the one bathroom, and um, I think we put a solar light in one bathroom because there's no window. So my husband was a roofer, and he he put in a round uh, light in there. What I don't know why I said solar, but um, so he wouldn't have to turn the light on all the time. You could see. You know, bring, bring light in here. So, and, uh, real quick, I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I kind of just want to get back to the the numbers there, just to make sure we're we're talking the the same language. If we did say the the property is worth two twenty, completely fixed up, um, and and I did five thousand dollars worth of work to it, and I bought it for one ninety five, I'm all in for for two hundred thousand. Um, just without holding costs or property taxes or turning on electricity or water or anything like that. Just if I immediately, yeah, well, right. But if yeah, I just well. immediately sold it to someone, I would have to pay mm -hmm. a realtor and closing costs of about $15,500. Um, th there's just, there's no, there's nothing there for me. Um, the, the math doesn't check out. I, I can't do that. Um, and, and $5,000 in repairs. I mean, you said it needed cosmetic repairs, right? Yeah, well, like paint, and I would definitely get new carpets because these carpets are 17 years old, you know? Right, so to, to paint a, a 2,000 square foot house is going to be pretty pricey. I mean, that's that's not, you're not going to be able to do uh, paint and really, carpet. Yeah, you go to the right places because we replaced the one in the living room right away because my husband didn't like that pinkish orange color, you know, Florida color. And we painted the living room then, too, because the walls were kind of pinkish. And it was pink counters, like, and we replaced them with uh, granite and uh, granite in the um, master bedroom. Yeah, there's a master bedroom and master bath. And, um, you know, well, I also have a, you know, remaining mortgage, of course. I had to take over when he died and, um, 
moving. Right. I mean, and, and that's that's where it gets a little bit tricky because, I mean, to be just honest with you, my offer is probably going to be somewhere down in that range um, just based off of the information that you've provided. I mean, we might be able to put a little bit of money in your pocket, but but nowhere near like the 40, 50,000 that, that you're looking for there. Because uh -huh. I got to have to move and find another place. And I'm already looking up, uh, I think I'm going to get pods. You know, you pack the pods up and they right. move them for you or right. store them for you. Because I got eight rooms of furniture here and I don't need all that. And, um, to get rid of a lot of stuff. Well, 17 years, what do you want? <laughs> she didn't say no. Uh, you know, you accumulate. <laughs> I have a dining room set, you know. I don't care about the couch and living room. Get rid of that. I mean, when, when you say you're looking to move, are you looking to buying a new property or are you looking to move in and, and rent somewhere or what's your plan there? And I've been looking at, I've been looking at the places and looking at some of the houses, but some of them, they want outrageous price for bleh, you know? Right. I said, oh my God, my house is a mansion compared to them piece of crap that they want all that money for. And I'm crazy. Well, that might, that's why it might be best for you to just rent from someone like me. You know, I mean, that's what we do. We go in and we buy the properties that look like a piece of crap and then we fix them up nice. And then we rent them out to someone like you where you don't have to worry about the maintenance of the property. I mean, you've been doing that for the past 17 years. Um, uh -huh. Isn't that part of the reason why you're wanting to get out of this property right now is that this property is yeah. too big and you don't want to deal with it anymore? Right. So, I like the location because it's perfect. It's just right on the corner here. I have a gas station with a convenience store in it, you know, and I walk over there all the time. And, you know, I want to be close to everything. My what? car is, eight, is is antique. It's 25 years old. I need another car. For, I know I'm just keeping my car going. Right. And, you know, I don't want to go far. But from here, like, the big stores like um, Walmart and all that and doctors stuff are 20 miles away, you know? Well, maybe you can find a rental property 20 miles away from you. Get get closer to where you I need to be. I don't want to be down there. I don't uh -huh. like it down there. Uh-uh. I don't feel safe there. I got gotcha. you. Uh-uh. Well, the beautiful thing about I'm renting is... Life. I'm in the country, you know. And, you know, you know, people around here. So I've been looking around this area. Let's see. Well, I, I mean... Rosemary, I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you. That's probably where I'm going to be is somewhere in that 140 to, to 150 range. That's probably going to be the best that I can do for you. Um, and, and like I said, I, I know it's not putting a ton of money in your pocket, but it does put you in a situation where it alleviates this property that you're currently in. It gets you out from under the stress of handling that. And then you can find a place or in a location that you want where you don't have to deal with that anymore. We have a place here called the Villages, but they're for rich people. Right. Like, you know, they're $2,000 a month rent. Yeah, out of town. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking about like a, an actual rental property. Like you could rent a townhouse or something like that or a smaller, you know, two-bedroom house from a landlord. Um, not not like a, a living facility or something like that. Hmm. Um. I was thinking I don't even want two bedrooms. I just want one. I don't want star borders. There you go. That's <laughs> what I'm trying to get across. And, um, uh, so what do you suggest? Um, I mean, you know, I, I think it would be pretty easy, and that's something that we could potentially help you with is finding a rental property in the location that would fit your budget and, and the location that you would want to be in. Uh, but as far yeah. as this property goes, I mean, you know, we're, we would probably be somewhere in that range of uh, 140 to 150 cash. Um, and then outside of that, there's always the, the possibility of us 
um, doing something creative there. If, if that, if once we come in and we inspect the property, if it's not something to do, there could be other options, but I think the, the best option right now, just based off of what you told me is that cash offer somewhere in the range of 145. Well, that don't leave me enough to even move. Well, you said you owe 137, right? Yeah. yeah. Almost, I, I just looked it up online. Uh, just to get the iPod, that doesn't include them moving it and I have to hire movers because I got a bad back. I have a swollen disc. I can't do anything. So what if we help and you I with that whole process? You know, I can't I can't pack anything or anything. I try to do stuff and then I get sick to my stomach. I, Hold on one second. Back. Hold on one second, Rosemary. Cassie, how much did it cost for you to get your stuff packed and move? Well, I'm just working so on that today. Yeah. Eight, $1,800? So it costs $1,800 for my partner to get her stuff packed and moved. So if we could find you something similar to that, that's still leaving you with probably, you know, close to six grand in your pocket. Well, it costs $550 just for the iPod. I mean, the pod. It's well, if you have a place pod. to move, you don't need the pod. You just move it straight to where you're going to stay. Well, I got to put it in something to move it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, the movers bring the trucks. Oh, yeah. They put it in the truck and they move it right when we there. Moved down here, when we moved down here, I already had a contract and paid for the moving. And when we moved here, they ripped us off. They came and said they needed 500 more, and we already paid for it from where I moved from. And, uh, we had to pay another 500. I even called the police and they said it's a civil matter and blah, blah, blah. You know, Daniel, this is in Silver Springs, Florida. We paid another 500 when we already had a contract and everything. We had paid almost $2,000 because it was all the way to hell up north, you know. And, <laughs> oh, man. Aaron, why don't you go oh, ahead and call and get another voicemail? My husband already came down here and I'm trying to paperwork and all that, and then I came down because I oh, has been forwarded to a <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, that's so freaking annoying, dude. <laughs> the mover, the drivers himself were with us. They wanted 500 more. It's not you out of your tree. They wouldn't let us have our stuff. Yeah, I'm going to call had another to send one. some money to some damn place in New York. I don't know. That's crazy. Uh huh. So you can't trust nobody. So, Rosemary, what, what do you think about my offer of 145 I think it's too low because I was offered more than that. Why didn't you accept it? Because I'm checking everything out. I don't just take the first thing that comes along, you know. Did so I just started doing it? Did and, those uh, did those people that offered you more? Did they did they offer all the other solutions that I'm offering you? Yeah, I talked to them about it, and then I had the idea of um, checking into pods and stuff. I was thinking about storing some stuff, so I don't know. And um, <laughs> yeah, they came up with a few ideas. They they did. They said they would they would help you find a, a moving company and, and get you a rental property and all that. They said they would help me, uh I see. Okay. Well, it sounds like you, you have somebody there to, to help you. So I'm gonna go carry on and then uh, get on the phone with somebody else that wants to to use my help. Okay. Well thank you for calling. All right, thanks, and... Rosemary. Oh, okay. All right, bye bye. Couldn't tell if she was interested or if she just wanted to be best friends because she's a widow. I think it was the latter. I think she everybody in the comments. For a second. Hey, we need to make sure we follow up with that one. RJ Bates, the deuce gigolo. Hello, you've reached three. 
three, Bro, eight, y'all eight, 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 <laughs> <zero>. <laughs> look, listen, the Tyrone Woodley fight was not rigged, but but RJ Bates rigged this, I swear, y'all. <laughs> here, here, do another one. All right, all right. I'll do another one. Let's another one. We haven't even gotten to hear you on the phone yet. We're almost halfway in. This is like a repeat of his Closers Olympics right here. <laughs> he can never get a damn lead. Or he says if this is a dialing contest airing you. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm nice, but I'm not that nice. All right. I'm texting him anyway. Boom. Boom. My turn, turn, baby. I got rejected. (laughs) 406. I can feel it. This one's going to answer. Watch. I can feel it. I'm feeling it too. Yep. I can. It's channeling right here. Right. Jeremiah says, might as well drop our RVMs. <laughs> hey, Diana, why didn't you answer the show? Hello? 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 I'll just call him. Hey, this is Aaron. I was calling about the property there on Mill Road. I was just reaching out to see if you had any interest in selling it. If so, definitely feel free to call back. My number. Bates is up. Go ahead, Bates. Bates the third. It's an important designation. That's how you know he's a uh, big wig. It does sound legit. I'm not gonna lie. Right. Whenever he dot drops it on the call, it's just like, oh, oh, very fancy. Oh, it's been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Three zero three five one three one eight. Nine four is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey Wendell, this is RJ Bates calling about your property at 80 Southeast Bracken Terrace. Give me a call back. 817-915-6860. Thanks. Come on, Aaron. Please leave your message. Dang it. I thought I thought that was an answer, bro. I was yeah, sure too, yeah, that, I think they're there. They 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 denied that call. Call them right back. I think that's what happened there. Yeah. Because that was mid that was mid dial. If Aaron. Hey, Kenneth. Can I help you? Hey, Kenneth, this is Aaron. I was calling about the property there on uh, Thunderbird Boulevard. You had Submitted some information on, on our website about being interested in selling it. I wanted to see if you were still interested. Okay, you got a call on Christmas. Can you call like after New Year's? I can, I can. I'll, I'll be honest. I, I really have uh, I have money to deploy right now, and and uh, I was. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Then if you can't do it later, that's fine. Thank oh, you. No problem. We'll reach out later. Bye. <laughs> Golly, man. He said, bro, don't you know it's Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, RJ Bates. That was the whole point in us calling tonight, though. Yeah. We wanted to get those toughies. Hello, is Bradley there? Bradley's not here. What can I help you with? Uh, I was calling about 1908 8th Avenue. He'd entered it on our website, uh, inquiring about getting an offer for that property. Have a stalker and uh, maybe signing a mess for the crazy thing. Uh, um, so it, it was it was not a real offer. Rather than that property. I see. All right. 
Very good. Sorry about that. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. They got a stalker. He was a stalker. That is crazy. Liam, can you turn that one red? Yeah. You have reached Troy's mobile auto repair. I want to thank everyone for your support over the years. I have closed. That's weird. He's out of business. What, what was that guy? It was, uh, what was the name on that? Uh, Troy Repairs. Uh, it was row, row 20. Row 20. What, what was the, um, the uh, dude who was? Bradley. Bradley, Bradley. Uh, my question is, is our people actually doing Christmas activities or is it, are they shopping? Dude, yes. I live in a... Uh, RJ Bates, calling about your property on Mallory Loop. Cool. I didn't even listen to you. Mark, I like your profile photo. Mark, the real estate general Boyd. The Google subscriber you have called is not available. Boy, oh boy. The power of Christmas. They're not answering today. We've come close on a couple of them, though. People yeah. wanting to talk. That one lady was ready to invite RJ over for Christmas, <laughs> man. Hello? Hey, Lola. Hello? Hey, Lola. This is Aaron. I was calling about the property there on East, uh, um, there on uh, Alhambra. Okay. We talked to your assistant the other day. Oh, okay, okay, and and what what conclusion do we come to? Were were we gonna go ahead and move forward together? Well, she said that we had to talk to you. Oh, oh, understood, understood. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's actually why I was reaching out. I I wanted to call and introduce myself because I'll be the one making you an offer, and I wanted you to put a voice to the name. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. Awesome. So you got a couple minutes to talk right now. Yes, that's fine. Sweet. Awesome. So Lola, first of all, well, how's your day so far? It's good. Yours. Amazing. I'm not going to lie. It's been super, super, super crazy, but, uh, but it's been, it's been fantastic. And I'm glad to hear yours is good. Do you mind if I tell you how these calls normally go before we hop in? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. So um, normally how these call calls go is they're usually about, you know, eight to 10 minutes. And, you know, I'm going to have some questions about the property because I'm interested in purchasing it cash as is. And, um, you might have some questions for me, and naturally, if it makes sense for us to do business, then I'll go ahead and make you an offer, and we'll get the paperwork started right away. Is that fair enough? Okay. Now, what agency are you calling from again? Good question. I'm actually the owner of the company, and we I'm with JCB. Okay, because yeah. there was another one, I guess, that had called. So we might not have talked to you then. Oh, okay. Completely understood. I did see that you filled out some information on, on our website. and Cash uh, offer I, option. Uh, it it might have been cash offer option. Um, yes. Okay, yes. awesome. So, yeah, that, that's, a, that's our, our third-party um, website. And, and um, so we're, we're definitely with the same team. So, um, but yeah, is that is that fair enough? You know, are are you looking to move forward right now as long as we're a good fit? Yes, as long as it's a good fit. Okay, awesome, awesome. So, um, can you tell me a little bit about the 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 property itself? Um, I see here that you mentioned the condition wasn't um, it wasn't in the best condition, but I'm looking at it right now. It looks like a beautiful property. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Um, yes, it needs. It definitely needs a roof. It's a okay. it's a three story house, a basement. Um, it has the main floor and upstairs. Mm -hmm. uh, three bedroom, one um, bedroom on the main floor, uh -huh. and two upstairs and one bonus room. That could be a, a bedroom, which would be four. 
because it had a closet in that room. Mm, okay, okay. So you said how many how many bedrooms? It could possibly be four. H how many are in it right now? Um, three. Three. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then um, I see here on record it says two bathrooms. Is that still the case? Yes. One full bathroom and one half bathroom. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. All right. And then um, it's talk to me about the roof. It, it says here that that the the roof might need replacing. Oh yes, it needs replacing. It'll be a, a complete roof that needs to be replaced. Understood, understood. Okay. And I'm assuming that the property is vacant, correct? Yes. Okay. All right. So Lola, let me ask you this. I mean, this is a, it looks like a, a, a very nice house. What, what makes you want to sell it other than talking to me right now? Um, I live with my daughter. Okay. Really oh, when did you, uh, when did you move from this one? Oh God, some years. It's been some years. Um, and at first I wasn't, I wasn't going to sell. I was going to pass it down to the family, and I'm just looking at the options now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. I'm looking at other properties in the area that um, that are, are currently selling, and I'm really loving the area. So I'm hoping that we can, we can do a deal together and move forward. Um, talk to me a little bit about the time frame. Normally, uh, once we do the paperwork, we close within 30 to 45 days. Is that too soon or too far out for you? No, actually, that's perfect. That's perfect? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and just so I'm not stepping on anybody's toes, is there anybody who we would need to consult or talk to before we make a decision here together? Um, no. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Lola, you got your stuff together. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. So it looks like it's going to need a little bit of work. I'm loving the area. Let me ask you this. If I can pay cash and I can pay all the closing costs, I don't want to waste any of your time. Um, I mean, what are you looking for the property if we can close quickly and make this the easiest transaction ever? 15000 15000 Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Let me see here. How did you come up with that number? Uh, just just looking at the houses in East St. Louis, I know most of them sell for about fifty thousand or fifty five thousand. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. 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 I think we're in the right price range for sure. Um, and I think that that uh, we can definitely make something happen. If I was able to to take care of the the closing costs and add my value service, um, could you do any better than that? If I could go ahead and and move quickly. Yeah, I'm negotiable. What did you have in mind? Well, I, I'm looking at this property here on 719 North 31st Street. I don't know if you're familiar with that area. It's literally just a block away, and. Okay. This this particular property, um, this particular property is a similar square footage to ours, and it sold for it sold for twelve thousand, and the condition was a little bit better. And I don't want to nickel and actually it was it was more square footage, and the condition was a was a little bit better. I'm just thinking about all the work that's needed. Um, if, if I could come in and and pay you eleven thousand dollars cash and pay all the closing costs so you don't have to come out of pocket for anything um, and then also um, and close close very quickly would we have a deal yes that would be I would be willing to take that Awesome. Awesome. Lola, you are absolutely amazing. You're a woman after my own heart because you seemed like somebody who was very decisive. Um, what I have here on record is um, I have the email as uh, dot net. Is that your email? My daughter's email. Is that the one that you want me to go ahead and, and send this uh, purchase agreement over to? Yes. 
Okay. And if I go ahead and send this over to you right now, would we be able to review it together? That way we can go ahead and sign it now. Um, no, I would need a couple of days to look it over and probably contact you after Christmas. Okay. Okay. And, and, um, Okay, and that's that's totally fine. But uh, I am a little confused because you did say that you were you'd be interested, and I'm not pressuring you at all. Um, what would what would hold you back from moving forward now? Just because I'm busy right now, preparing for Christmas, and I just want more time to read through it. I don't I don't act that quick. I like to read all the fine print to make sure what I'm signing. Sure, sure, completely understood. Completely understood. Let me let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Um, is there anything if we went over it together now and and I'll be honest the reason why I'm uh, I'm a little bit urgent is because um we I have funding partners who um they put up the money for all of our transactions and we really love this deal and um the sooner that I'm able to get the paperwork over to title the sooner we can close is there anything that I could do that would Put you in a in a good frame of mind if we went over the paperwork together for us to go ahead and do it now. No, I would want to wait because I, you know, I would want to let someone also read over it as well. Okay. As myself. Okay. To make sure everything's fine printed. Okay. Understood. Understood. One hundred percent. One hundred percent understood. I would just be remiss if I didn't if I didn't ask because I, I do like to act quickly and and uh, we do take this really serious. But I do respect that. And, and I'm not going to pressure you at all. Um, and it, you said that that was the email you would prefer for me to send it over to. Yes. OK, awesome. Awesome. And and is there anything um, any questions or concerns that you have for me right now that that. Um, that you would feel comfortable or that uh, that would make you feel comfortable moving forward or anything that would hinder you from actually signing once I send it over and you get it reviewed? Uh, no, I just have to read it. I've, I've read one before where mm -hmm. it has some crazy stuff in it. <laughs> I'm from another place. You mm -hmm. know, like people will be coming in and out of the house and all those different things. That So I just have to read the contract to make sure. Okay. Understood. Understood. It sounds like, it sounds like um, you've, you've, done a deal before or have you signed a purchase agreement with some another real estate professional Ooh, I just asked them to send the contract and I didn't like what it said so mm. it understood let me ask you this because I don't want to send you anything that's going to alarm you it is going to be a standard purchase agreement it's very short um what what was it that you saw that you didn't like that way we can discuss it right now because I don't want I don't want uh, you to be alarmed at all I want to I want to be very straightforward what was just what I, I told you about, you know, different things is stated in there and having a lock box or something where different people come in and look without me being present. Mm. It was some other stuff that I just like to look because it, it is a legal document and you sure. want to make sure everything is on the up and up. Mm -hmm. So you definitely want to read it um, first and, and get some input, you know. Once you sign something, it's time. So um, yeah, you just definitely want to read it. Yes, ma'am, that makes sense. So so let me if ask you. Thing, if you have to rush and and and, and you need it done right now, then I'll pass. Mm -hmm. But um, if you give me some time, uh, we may have a deal. I just need to have time to read it. For sure, for sure. No, no, no. I, I, I just, I just wanted to make sure I shot my shot because, because I, you know, I am in the business of, of doing business. So, so I'm not going to rush you. That's fine. Um, so just to, just to kind of make sure that we're on the same page. Um, I am based out of Texas. That's why my, you know, I'm calling from, you know, my number is out of town. However, my funding partners are in that area, and so they would need to, to go ahead and, and walk the property. But I have no problem with you being present. Um, I have no problem doing anything that's necessary so that you're comfortable. Um, but they would need to go ahead and lay eyes on the property just to make sure that everything that we discussed over the phone is 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 the case. But that, you know, we never we never back out of our, our contracts unless there's anything that we've discussed that um, that was dishonest, unless there was something that was dishonest or anything like that. But I don't feel like that's the case with you. And I feel like this number is a fair offer as well. So I don't have any concerns there. Um, but so long as, as 
um, you're available to walk with our funding partners. You're saying that's okay? Yes. And how many how many people will be coming in and out? Um, normally we do we do at least two to three walkthroughs of the property, um, just to make sure that that everything is on the up and up. And normally we close within about twenty one to thirty days. Um, if there's something that happens beyond our control, or maybe there's something on title. You know, it might take up to 45 days, but we always communicate well in advance if there's anything that comes up that uh, is an encumbrance to our, our closing. Okay, okay. Well, go ahead and send me the contract, and then I'll be able to read once it slows down from the holiday. Mm -hmm. So I can contact you after Christmas. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so I'm not going to rush you. And, and I definitely respect you taking the time. In fact, I actually do appreciate that you're going to take the time to read it. Um, with that said, I do want you to know how serious I am as well. So about how long would be a reasonable time before, uh, you know, if I don't hear from you that I should follow up? Tuesday, you can follow up. Tuesday, December 28th? I love it. Lola, you are absolutely a rock star. Thank you so much for, for working with me and, and um, choosing to do business with us. I'm going to go ahead and get this agreement sent over to you right away. And then can I text you uh, to this number once I send it over? Yes. Awesome. And then would you do me a favor and, and just please confirm whenever you receive it? That way I can sleep well tonight. Okay, that's fine. Lola, you're awesome. I look forward to talking to you soon, okay? Okay, great. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Bye. First of all, I got to address this real quick. I got to address this. Here in the comments, <laughs> my, my man Udo said, this nigga Aaron is so light-skinned. <laughs> <laughs> so, <man. laughs> it's so stupid, man. I'm trying to take that belt, RJ. I want that belt, baby. <laughs> that, 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 that was a good call. You did Dude, good. Nice. No, yeah. no, RJ. No, RJ. I don't want you undermining. I don't want you undermining it. <laughs> but uh, that was a good call, but yeah. you did I, good. I think what I think it was awesome. a good lead. You did good. <laughs> I mean you didn't the, get the contract, but you did good. I think the takeaways Dude, from the awesome. call though are Very to smooth. listen to Aaron's tonality. Throughout the call, he's shifting it, he's changing pace, and he's using the seller's language against them. That's something that I picked up on. She said, um, I want to make sure everything's on the up and up when she was referencing the contract. And then Aaron used it two or three more times throughout the call because it's language that she was comfortable using and she would relate to it. And that was so smart on the back end. But otherwise, I think what Aaron's totally a master of his tonality and sounding. I've heard other people say similar things to what he's saying, right? Whereas I want to rush this through in essence, right? But his tonality was so sincere and soft and understanding of her situation that she didn't get offended and she didn't feel pressured into it, right? Um, and another thing that he did a lot of, they're called accusation audits, right? He's like, I don't want you to feel rushed. I just want you to understand where I'm coming from. So that way he's like, can we get it done tonight? And she's like, well, why, what is this? What's his game? What's his angle? Am I getting screwed here? What's going on? It was... Um, those are, I think, some great takeaways for you guys to uh, write notes on. Those are great. I, I really don't think that there was anything that you could have done in that call to get her to sign. I mean, probably not. There, there, she wasn't going to. I mean, it was. You did everything that you possibly could, so I thought it was a great call. You went Good back job. into it like three or four times. I mean, yeah. If you <laughs> if you had had a belt, you probably would have helped. <laughs> On, let me call Sharon. <laughs> RJ's got the whole hype crew behind him. If you're watching this, make sure you like it and share this so uh, yes, please. People can catch on, catch up to this. This this was a great call. Can I throw this out there? But between now and and when that person answers the phone, I'm currently paying my PPC guy. I just paid him four thousand dollars and got uh, zero leads in the past month. So I know for a 100% fact, and I'm not getting paid. Your call has been forwarded to an I'm coming to high speed to leave, man. I'm coming to high speed to leave, man. That's awesome. That's not awesome. And then, too, we also do run managed ad campaigns, and so we can get you set up on one of those as well. Make sure we put that 4000 to good work. Yeah, facts. I was gonna come before even the show. RJ was like, "Bro, like you have to, you have to come to to speed to lead." I was like, "Say less, bro." When RJ Bates recommends something, I, I jump on it, man.
Awesome, Tony says you donated four grand. <laughs> <laughs> I donated four four rack four Your bands. Call has been forwarded oh, man. Well, donated All right, go ahead, Aaron. To, to the exactly, that's the thing, though. Yeah, you donated it to a billion dollar, multi billion dollar company. Yeah. All right, so let's widen this gap. <laughs> Stratton <laughs> says, "I don't know, Aaron, but Team Lightskin." <laughs> <laughs> Light skin is a mentality, bro. <laughs> I can't comment on either. I'm way too white for all that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get canceled even thinking hey, about talking about it. Yes, that's what I'm hey, saying. Eugene, I'm... This is Aaron. I was calling about the property there on Birch Street. Hey, how you doing, Aaron? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I saw that you had filled out some information on, on the website, and and I just wanted to reach out and and put a voice to the name because I'll be the one making you an offer on it. You got a couple minutes. Yeah, we're, uh, who are you calling with? Um, it is... Cash uh, offer option. Cash offer option. Yeah, no, we're not interested in it anymore. Thanks, man. Okay, all right. Dang. You, you, I think it was that lag, yeah. <laughs> you said what? Yeah, yeah, I think it was that lag. You didn't know who you're from. He was like, yeah, get fucked. Yeah. That was it. Cash <laughs> offer option. I would call him back, man. Hey, let me check. Let me check. No. Yeah, let me let me call him back. I'm gonna call him back and be like, "Hey, just out of curiosity, what um, yeah. what, what did I do something? There? What's the city? Creston. I want to make sure it didn't get be humiliating or amazing. Show. Sure. get to the phone right now. Hey. I'm just gonna send him a text because that Iowa? was that was for yeah Iowa. All right, we got uh, Jay Bates the third is up right now, folks. <clears throat> and just by the way, if you're watching this and your lead has told you to fuck off, make sure you re try to record your calls, but uh, you can get that lead refunded. You guys are amazing, man. Please record your All right. In the meantime, guys, just check this out. Are you looking to implement pay per click advertising into your real estate business? iSpeedTheLead.com is an a la carte PPC marketplace, allowing investors to get into the world of PPC on a budget. Browse and purchase PPC leads a la carte from all around the United States. These leads are from motivated sellers who want to sell now. So if you want to find motivated sellers using PPC, go to iSpeedElite.com. We got you. All right, we got Aaron Bevins. Automatic voice message system. Three. Automatic voice message. Go ahead, babe. They call him Aaron Automatic. <laughs> 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 And make sure you guys stick around to the end because it's you guys, the audience, who is going to be deciding. Who wins. Forwarded to it. We got the Viking Wizard against the Voicemail Wizard. <laughs> uh, what's up, Kevin? You guys, I'm going to throw a deal out here. Whichever one of you guys loses tonight, the other person gets to decide what their Instagram uh, nickname is. Hello? For a week. Hey, David? Yes. Hey, David, this is Aaron. I was calling about the, the property there on Rickscoo Street. Yeah. Yes, sir. I, I saw that you had uh, inputted your information on our website, and I just wanted to reach back out to you and, and uh, introduce myself because I'll be the one making you an offer, and I wanted you to put a voice to the name. On... Awesome. Awesome. So um, do you mind if I tell you a little bit about normally how these calls go? Right. Awesome. Awesome. So, um, David, normally how these calls go is, is there about eight to ten minutes? You know, I'm going to have some questions about the property because I'm looking to, to make you an offer cash as is. 
and uh, you might have some questions for me. And uh, naturally, if it makes sense for us to do business, then what I'll do is is uh, make you an offer. And if it makes sense, normally we go ahead and get started with paperwork. Fair enough? That sounds good. Awesome. Awesome. So let me ask you this. Um, I mean, this looks like a really nice property. What makes you want to sell other than talking to me today? We just uh, weighing our options because we trying to travel and do a few things, me and the wife. So we just decided that we, we might just want to see it. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Where are y'all looking to travel to, David? Uh, we already been traveling. Yeah. <laughs> So we want to travel some more. <laughs> That's awesome. That's all. Where, where's the? You have a highlight or a favorite place you've been yet? Tennessee, uh, Indiana, uh, Nebraska, uh, a lot of other places, uh, Utah, Arkansas, uh, Alabama. I've just been all around. Very cool. Very cool. That's awesome, man. That is awesome to hear. Have you have you been to? Uh, did you go to any of the national parks as you traveled? No, we, we were going to head that way uh, uh, the next time we go out. You know. Yeah. So, yeah. Very cool. We're just trying to get some things done. That's awesome. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm I'm uh I'm pulling up the property right now because I want to go ahead and make you an offer while we're on the phone together. Um, let let me ask you this. Uh, the the property, um, it I I don't have on record the the bed bath count and square footage. Can you give me some of the details on it? That way I can kind of compare it to what's going on there and and get you a fair offer. Well, it's one of them jacuzzi bathtubs okay okay yeah all right got it it's got a jacuzzi bathtub what's the square footage on it i don't know maybe uh i don't know six foot eight foot something like that i don't know we can take a look when we get here okay okay i am i'm actually um pulling up some of the uh the info on it right now that way i can i can see and normally, whenever we we start the paperwork, uh, we close we're, we close out in about thirty to forty five days. Is that too long or too soon for you? Well, let's see what kind of money you're talking about. I'm not giving this away. <laughs> I, and and I want to know if you're a broker because then I know you want to try to lowball me. Sure, sure, <laughs> understood. <laughs> well, um. Now, if you got a family and want to be in a big, nice house, then that might be for you. But if you don't, you just want to try to make money off my house. I can make my own money. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Well, I'm I'm definitely not a broker. Um, I'm I'm actually um, somebody who who purchases properties to put families in there uh, myself. So. Um, what I see here, it looks like the, the roof is going to need to be replaced. Yeah, yeah. Okay. In the process of getting that done as okay. well. Okay. That's why we still here. And <laughs> we ain't going nowhere yet. Understood, we understood. Get a little things done. Understood, understood. Okay. Uh, I thought you was pulling up over here. But you're not? No, no. What I what I meant was I, I was pulling up the information that I'm actually right now I'm in San Antonio, Texas. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. But I have I have funding partners, just just full transparency, you know, all the deals that I do, I don't use any of my own money. Okay, well, right now I'm doing some, I'm pulling, uh, some stuff off the back of my truck, and uh, me and the wife's gonna have dinner. Okay. And uh you wanna call me back? Uh oh, it's a good time for you. Uh, uh you guys are a couple of hours different. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right now it's 5.33 p.m. What time is it over there? Oh, it's only like 3 something. Okay, about 3.30. So so um, you want me to call you back today? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Give me a couple of hours, you know. Got to get some showering in and all of that. Okay, okay. Got it, got it, got it. All right, all right. And... Uh, and David, um, is it okay if I if I text you? Uh, that way, you know who's calling you here in the next couple hours. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Okay, sounds good, David. I'll, I'll be talking to you shortly. All right. Okay. Bye.
seemed like a solid guy. And and I'll be honest with you, based on what I'm seeing here, um, that's an incredible, incredible lead. Um, uh, based on what I'm saying. So I'm marking that. Uh, Wait, why did why did he get off the phone with you? He he's about to eat dinner. I'm I'm trying to decide if I want to waste one of my turns calling him and seeing if I can close him right after you. Do if it. You if you call him if you call him right now and close him on the phone, I will change my Instagram name to whatever whatever you want me to for the next month. It's row twenty six. But you have to close. But you have to close him. You have to close him. I'll change my Instagram name to whatever you want for the next month. <laughs> and what did he say to you that made you think this is an incredible lead? He he's well. It's it's just look at that. Look at that. Um, look at the look at the row. I mean, it it needs it needs a whole lot of work. And and he's ready to to move right now. He's um, he's older. And he, they want to travel. So, so you, mean, didn't they, discuss, you didn't discuss numbers or anything like that, right? Mm -mm. It's just, I'm just, I'm just based on what I see, this looks like an incredible lead. All right. Give me two seconds. I'm going to, I'm just going to sling this old school RJ style. <laughs> I'm just going to call him and straight make him an offer. Okay, but here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Don't tell him you're with me. But I know I'm not. Because if he if he doesn't like you, then I want to call him back and, I know. and contract that. All right, cool. Exactly. I'm just gonna call him and be like, "Yo, I'm willing to offer you ten thousand dollars." I I promise you, I will. I, I we got to do it for the people. We got to spice it up and do something. I know. Now I said it, so I have to do it. I had a lead picked out it. and everything. Oh All right, man! Well, what, gonna, okay, up, man. so you, you he told you bed bath and and stuff, right? Yeah, it's it's all there. It's all there on on the. Uh, on oh, the it's on the on the sheet. All right, let's see. I I went to the restroom. I'm not like just oblivious, and so I took myself off. I had to use the restroom, so I'm like, well, hold on, this could be good for the the peeps. Let's see here, we got a four one. Oh, let's see, and this is a a weird location. It is. It is. Were you looking at this on prop stream? Yeah, that's why. That's why I was buying so much time because it, it's. I couldn't. I couldn't really deduct exactly what was going on there. Like the main comp right across the street is. There's a house clearly there, but it doesn't show you anything. Exactly. Let me look at this up on Batch and see if it's better. And Aaron, just so you know, because it's your first time on the show. Mm -hmm. That's the leads we call on is like leads that did not get sold in our portal. Mm. It's usually like stuff with like weird locations or maybe like lower motivation. So that's why this lead was kind of like passed on by everybody else. But we're like, hey, you know what? For the show, let's call them. Let's close them. We can still do deals even with these like kind of funky leads. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, honestly, I don't even know what i i don't even know what i would offer this guy yeah like that that's why that's why i was I, i'm just going based off of how motivated he sounds and based on the fact yeah. that the property is going to need work you know what i mean but but that's i don't i, I don't want to do this call with this guy because it doesn't make any sense because i don't want to contract it i mean this if he's truly motivated it could be a really good lead and looking at batch i see there's stuff all around but it's i mean dude this is in the middle of a desert and <laughs> if you don't, honestly, if you don't feel comfortable with it, don't don't ruin it because I legit yeah. want to call this guy back and and make him an. That's what I'm saying. I I don't. Right, I don't run with another lead. You got yeah. that other one that you picked yeah, out. Let's, let's do sit that. Down. Yep. Not bad at all. <laughs> Manny said he's gonna go RJ style. <laughs> you know, we had Manny on here a few weeks ago. We got to get him on here again. Man, that boy Manny is crazy. Boy Manny Cash goes hard in the paint, man. Locked up a contract live in like 30 Shit. minutes. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Yeah, got it signed and everything all the way across. I think he even got a dispo already. Don't even surprise Oh, uh, Mario me. had a good point. Both of us calling from Texas might tip him off. Although we have two different area codes. <laughs> Udo says Aaron be the type of guy to tell a seller he loves her at the end of the call. <laughs> Hello, is uh, James there? 
Hey, James, this is RJ Bates. Uh, you had entered your information on our website about selling the property in uh, Willowick. Are you still looking to sell that property? Uh, no, sir. Okay. You already got an offer? You already got it taken care of? I mean, Did you already sell the property or, or what happened there? No, no. I'm just sold off for a while. I got gotcha. you. Well, I was I was calling to give you an offer. I know you went on our website. You you, you don't want to hear what I have to offer there. Uh, nah, not not at this time. All righty, sounds good. Have a good night. Thank you. All right, bye bye. That would be a refunded lead, guys. By the way, but just make exactly. sure that you guys are recording all your calls because it just makes it so much easier. Yeah, you go, you refund immediately. There has to be no back yeah. and forth. Thank you, Liam. For that's what I was. I saw you pop in, but I was gonna jump in there and say it. <laughs> RJ, highlight the ones that you call, bro. That way I can see. He's highlighting them in uh, RJ Invisible Ink. He can see it. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. All right, go ahead, Bates. It's not available. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Record your message. Somebody else you have finished this recording. This is the most watched show we've had so far. Press one for more options. Hey, what's going on, Joe? This is Aaron. I was calling about the property there on Kelly Loop. Uh, feel free to call me back whenever you get a chance. I want to see if we're a good fit to move forward um, with me purchasing the property. My number is 830 200 no, 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 that's not. I don't want to call that one. I rejected my call. Does that count? Does that count, Aaron? Yeah, that counts, bro. Oh, damn. It's my turn, bro. It's my turn. <laughs> Two, five. It is my turn, family. David Marsh is here. Damn scammers. Who are the scammers, David? Let us know in the comments below. He's, He's, like, like, us. Ah. He's like titanium. <laughs> Dang it. Go ahead. I want to thank everyone. For the world doesn't know this, but there was this one time where we, me and me and uh, RJ Bates were at the at the batch headquarters and uh, actually Jesse Burrell's house. And uh, we were sipping a little bit and, and I was trying to wrestle him just because we we're always trying to compete over stuff. And I end up in the pool, and I almost drowned. RJ Bates literally almost killed me. <laughs> that is a true story. That is a true story. That is, that is a fact. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for, like, RJ pulled me out, but nope. No, Cassie. Cassie pulled me out. <laughs> oh, man. I need someone to Did talk to me. Your message for Dude, oh, you got him all what? early on. You front loaded your luck early on. He, he just right, texted me. Oh, he, he did? Just yeah. Okay. You've extended your time. E I re I'll respect that. Well, what do you say? Who is this? This is uh, Sean Dixon. Jeremiah goes, they say opposites attract. One tries to kill you and the other saves you. <laughs> I just told him, I said, you entered on our website and I want to buy it. I got Christmas money to burn. I Save like you. that. All right, Aaron, you're up, buddy. All right, I'm on it. I'm on it. <clears throat> Close them over text. Joma is oh, done. Dang. That's got to be worth some points. And David followed up his comment and said, oh, shit, I'm commenting on something that happened 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I was going to follow up to this scammer. Y'all look like me, though. Whenever, whenever, I, whenever like, I, hear, I see stuff like that in the comments, I address it right away. Like, what's up? I'm here, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've had people come in and then just call scammers just because we're wholesaling, right? I mean, they've yeah, got yeah, yeah. all up in arms. I'm like, okay, keep giving me these interactions. Keep giving me these. 
Hey, Levi? Go ahead, RJ. I can't be having RJ having all those questions. <laughs> hey, Levi, this is Aaron. I was calling about the property there on um, Southern Ave. I just wanted to see if you were interested in, in selling it still. If so, definitely feel free to call me back. RJ's running it. Hello. Hi, is Patty there? It's Patty. Hey, Patty. This is RJ Bates calling you about 112 Ocalo Drive. You had uh, entered in on our website saying you were looking to sell that property. Uh, yeah, but we got somebody that's interested right now. She has to the tenth to let us know. Oh, like she she so. made you an offer and gave you a contract, yes. or yes. Oh, yes. and, and y'all accepted it. Yes. Gotcha. If everything goes okay right now. I see. So she's going to come out and do an inspection and all that yes. good stuff. Yes. I got you. Okay. Well, save my phone number and let me know if that doesn't go through. Okay. Okay. I will. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. Bevins was holding that up. He was ready to go. That would be a refund right there. Sorry, sold. Right. Hit the nail on the head. Absolutely. This is cool. This is what I love. This is what I, I love. Been a close contract if they bought it on time. <laughs> right. Yeah, that'd be money. <clears throat> Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. I do want to say this though. Um, so many people. So many, I'll, I'll say it afterward. I'll say it. Let me leave this message. Hey, is Kenny there? Hey, Kenny. This is RJ Bates calling you about three eight eight Burlwood. You had uh, entered it on a website saying that uh, you were looking to sell that property. Yes, I've already got a realtor now. Uh, it's actually listed on Tuesday. Oh, they're listing it on Tuesday. Yes, I see. Um, well, all they're going to do is sell the property, and I'm calling to buy the property. So I almost oh. kind of made them obsolete, you know. So. Yeah. How about we? How about you and I just talk, and maybe we can pat them on the back for doing a good job over the weekend, okay? Well, I mean, I don't know if I can. Uh, since I'm obligated with that, I mean, I mean, what what's their job to sell the property, right? Yes. All right. Well, here I am. I'm ready to buy. So, all right. Let's 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 chat, and we can figure out how to take care of the the realtor later on if it works out between us so why are you looking to sell the property uh well i got divorced probably three years ago i raised my son he moved out um i kept the house because i didn't know what i was going to do i stayed in it three more years i ended up getting married and she has one child living at home and i moved in with her and then since then we done bought a lake house and um the house is too big for, for just me. And then, you know, I moved in with my wife and we're living out here in Vine Grove. So I just want to get rid of it. Gotcha. How much are you going to be asking for it? Uh, well, with the realtor, it's going to be three eighty nine. Sorry, dropped my phone there. Um, I got you. I want to deal for three ninety nine, but he thinks it'll get more traffic and it's still up there because the other house right around the corner, they had it on there for five days and it was three ninety nine, and I've gone for full twenty. So he thinks a kind of bid war is going to go on. So I got you. All right. Well, unfortunately, the realtor is going to make me obsolete because I'm I'm definitely not going to be there. So uh, best of luck with that, and we'll talk to you soon. He said, huh? What? 389? <laughs> Bro. That realtor is planning on coming in, getting the listing, the price knocking him down and down and down first two weeks, and then probably uh, relisting it almost right away. That's what they're probably going to do. This guy said he wanted 429 for it, though. Or three twenty nine. Three ninety nine is what he wanted. 
but the um, realtor told him the to list for three eighty nine. So he went. Yeah, that realtor is gonna price cut him ten times. See it all too often. Now, Mr. Aaron, you are uh, your microphone is muted. Oh, maybe he's on a different kind of call. I don't know what's up. No, my my bad. I didn't realize I was muted. That was uh, it was a voicemail. It's your turn, RJ. Okay, I, cool. I just I highlighted it. I just highlighted it. My bad, y'all. While RJ's calling, I just wanted to say this: that it gets to a certain point where where you legit, it's like fishing. Some people call it boring, but others who who in, you know you you find you find a joy in it. I feel it's the same way whenever it comes to to cold calling, warm calling. Um, you find a passion with it because you associate it with making money. And I just wanted to say this for all the people who are always asking, how do I get motivated? How do I, how do I push past? It's like, man, you got to associate uh, success with this stuff, man. This is why RJ is so good at what he does. This is why those who are successful are successful. They associate pleasure and joy with the actual behaviors. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, Lori, the couple of comps I saw there were in the low 300s. Please leave your message for. You, you talked to Sean already, right? On, in, uh, he's the one texting me. He's on the moon. All right. Wait, you talked to Patty too. I've not talked to Hanson. All right, bet. Can load some more leads in there too if you need. All right, let's run this. Bro, give me like five more. I'm tired of looking at these. Hey, if you got one in Maine, give me one in Maine. Give him like a bunch more. This guy's name is Hanson. <laughs> I love how that made you excited. <laughs> Bro, the Hansons dropped the greatest song in the 90s. Hey, Hanson, this is Aaron. I was calling about the property there on uh, Wynema Road. Uh, just want to see if you're still interested in selling it. If so, definitely feel free to call me back. My number is 830. Yeah, I don't remember. Mm -ba, ba, ba, mm -ba. Yeah, yes, we, we remember. <laughs> there i just uploaded some new i, I put it into it's called upload too it's, a, it's on the same uh same thing just a different sheet you guys get a little bit uh, i'm going i'm going over there i need i need some refreshment okay <laughs> let's see what we got over here you know in tucson arizona Ooh. oh yeah because uh, that's what I want. It's an wanna, excellent condition, though. So I, I want to talk to this one. All right. I, I didn't even look at anything except for the city. <laughs> Let's do it, baby. Low key, me and RJ Bates would sell out an arena at a UFC fight, though. <laughs> I want to see that, yeah, for real, live. <laughs> Look at Cassie over here. Yes, Cassie's excited about that. She'd be the one putting up the holding up the cards between rounds. Uh, all right, your turn. Yeah, uh, yeah there we go. Cassie said, Can I <laughs> yeah. walk the science feature? I'm ahead of you already. I'm ahead of you already, Cassie. I think she just wants to see RJ get hit in the face once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> Will there be a swimming pool involved? <laughs> this is stupid. Come on, man. After I beat RJ on this one, we got we, we're gonna have to do a new one. We got we're gonna we're have to do another one after Christmas. Yep. 
Go ahead, Closer's B. cage match is going to be a uh, name brand thing. We're going to have everybody on. We're going to have different title shots, title bouts. We're going to have you know, maybe different weight classes. Who knows? Like, Google Voice will try to connect you. Your buyer. <laughs> My man said your buyer. <laughs> He's like, I watch Max Maxwell on YouTube. <laughs> Bro, Liam, where's my lead in Maine? I'll try and find one for you. Main is that M A? M E. M E. Oh snap! You know what? My bad. My bad. That does not count. What? I, Why? I because I called that person before. So? <laughs> I hung up on someone and you counted it. Nope, you're done. I'm done. You're done. Put your phone down, Aaron. <laughs> ah, what is he doing? I'm taking what's mine. Y'all remember this when it comes to voting, he cheats. <laughs> Louis, that's right. That's right. I would grab RJ's beard to win. You bet your bottom dollar. I would I will not fight clean at all. RJ, check the very bottom of the uh sheet. Yes. Main baby. Please leave your message for... Go ahead, Beats. I mean, this is not the main one I wanted, but whatever. Dude, that's the... <laughs> we got, like, three leads totally main, and one of them happened to come from today. So, I mean, that's... I, that's the one I wanted. I gave you it. That's it. Oh, this is it? Shit. That's All it, right. yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Hatch. Call has been forwarded to an automated voice. There's your main. Thanks, main. Aaron, you muted, by the way. We can't hear you. There you go. Um, you know what he's doing? He's over there. He's going through the list and calling him on mute so I can't hear. That's how he's getting on the <laughs> phone now. Hey, Mary. Hey, Mary. Yeah, who's this? Hey, this is Aaron. Uh, I was calling uh, about the property there on Regal Road. Yeah, what about it? Well, um, I saw that you had you put some information on our website that you were interested in selling, and so I wanted to, to call and, and introduce myself because I'll be making you the, the cash offer on it, and I wanted you to put a voice to the name. You got a couple minutes to talk? Yeah. Awesome. Just about a couple minutes. Okay, well, I'll, I'll be super brief. Normally how these calls go, they only last a few minutes, and, and uh, I'll typically ask you a few questions because I, I am interested in purchasing it. You might have some questions for me too. And naturally, if it makes sense for us to do business, then we'll, um, I'll send over some paperwork and we'll, we'll go ahead and get started with the process. Fair enough? Yeah, I do have a realtor. Okay, so it's when you say you, you have a, a realtor, um, is it listed on the MLS or you just have a, uh, an agreement oh, with the realtor? I've got three of them that are begging me to list it, but I only really like one. <laughs> okay. So, so, um, you, you are, uh, you are in high demand, huh, Mary? Well, for some odd reason. <laughs> well, okay. So it doesn't sound like it's on the, on the market yet. You just have a realtor you're working with, correct? <clears throat> yeah. I've got one I'm talking to the same one that we bought this house from. Okay. Okay. And that's fine. I don't, I don't mind if you, if you insist on working with a realtor, that's fine. My biggest concern is whether or not it. Insisting on it. Okay. All right. Whatever is easiest and fastest. that's not going to bankrupt me. <laughs> okay. I love it. So, so um, then that makes me happy because um, I'm, I'm looking to purchase the property. I'm not a broker or a realtor. I don't even have my license. I'm just looking to purchase the property. Uh, 
So, so um, I know you said that you're you're uh, you're short on time. VA loan that's assumable. Okay. All right. Talk to me a little bit about that. How, how much is is owed on the property right now? Um, I just looked too. One hundred and fifty two nine, I believe. All right. One fifty two nine. Okay. Awesome. We've only lived here about a year. Okay. Understood. Understood. Okay. Okay. And so <clears throat> let's say I did assume, uh, um, I took over the payments on it. Um, wh what are you looking for on the property? If I were to come in and just make this the easiest transaction of all time, ideally, if you could wave a magic wand, what would you like to see here? 185. 185? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. The property value went up a lot. And then I put about 30 or 40,000 into improving. It's got a whole house, reverse osmosis water filtration system and a water softener i screened in the porch uh, there's a second house on the property that's like a tiny house it doesn't have plumbing in it okay but it's got electricity and an air conditioner what's the square footage on that one i don't know to tell you the truth if you could if you if you could just guess though that way i'd at least have like an an estimation i have honest to god no idea <laughs> I know it's got two screen porches I've had built on there for cats. Okay. And so you could put a porta potty in there and somebody could live in it, literally. How many rooms are, are, are in it? Two. And it's got security cameras and lights outside <clears throat> on the building that motion activated that go on every time one of the raccoons walks by. <laughs> Okay. What makes you want to sell this property, Mary? It looks like a. a... I want to move back to Florida to the villages. Oh, okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And normally, normally I, you know, once we do paperwork, I'm closing within 30 to 45 days. Is that too soon or, or too far out for you? No, no, that'd be fine. We were looking at like 60 days probably because we got a whole lot of stuff in this house. We got to move. We moved from a 2,100 square foot house to this is 1288. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have boxes on our boxes. Okay. 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 I'm just and just if you could just bear with me, what I'm doing is I'm I'm pulling up some details in that neighborhood. That way I can I can make you a fair offer right now. Yeah, I'm just setting that my husband's not home from work yet and he wants me to record the gator game and I'm trying to figure out how the hell to do it. So no problem. <laughs> Are y'all born and raised in Florida? No, I'm from Michigan. I lived there 37 years. My husband's born and raised in Florida, Lakeland. Okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah, he he. I, I was gonna assume that that uh that he's born in Florida because only Floridians go for the Gators. Not really. There's a lot of people that have moved to Florida that are for the Gators. Well, that's true too. That is true too. All right. So, um, okay. So I do like this neighborhood for sure. Um, I'll be honest with you. Um, you said how much were you asking for the property? 185. And that's, if I go with the realtor, they're listing it at 220. So. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, let me just, let me just make sure before I, before I speak 220, how, uh, where, where did they get that number from? I'm looking in the area. I haven't seen anything in the market sell for more than 190. I have no idea. I'm not the realtor. Okay. They said with all the taxes, you know, the property improvements that have gone up with the property value uh -huh. and, and with the whole house osmosis, the screened in course, a separate building, mm -hmm. mature fruit trees and all. They said 220 to 225 actually is what they said. Holy moly. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I'll be, I'll be honest. Here's, here's where I would be at. I, I don't see any, and I'm just gonna, you know, I'm not going to pressure you at all. I'm just going to give you some, some info here. That way you, ha you have a reference. But uh, I don't see anything in this market in the last year that has sold for anything more than 192. And, I, and I'm looking at comparable properties in that particular area. So if I was going to, to purchase this property, it, um, I'm going to make you two offers, okay? Uh -huh. The first offer is I think that the property, uh, I think I'd be able to offer you um, cash, $142,000. 
Oh hell no! That's not even what we owe on the mortgage. There's no way. Yeah, I, I figured that. I'm just I'm just letting you know because I I did give you my word. I'd make you an offer there. So I know that doesn't make yeah. sense. Um, the the other option is I could take over your payments and put a little uh, money in your pocket. That way you don't have to worry about this ever again. No, we can't do that if you're not going to assume it because we're using VA to buy in the villages. Okay, got you, got you. So you would you would need to get the mortgage out of out of your name altogether. Right. But okay, understood, understood. Okay, well, I I don't think I'm your buyer here, uh, Mary. But thank you so much for your kindness, and and uh, I would definitely recommend that you you move forward with your realtor. Okay, thank you very much. Have a great day. Yes, ma'am. You too. Bye. Bye. -bye. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything anything I could do with that particular one. She was nice. Well, the realtor got her yeah, got her hopes up though. I mean, the two twenty. That's what they do, right? They're they gonna, do that. You know, Sell the world and then deliver, you know, uh, patchy grass. That's right. That's right. That's right. Wait, wait. Uh, un unmute, unmute RJ. Is he muted? I didn't mute him. He's muted himself. Unmute yourself, bro. Uh, and I'm really flexible on this. I was like, why are y'all talking over this guy? <laughs> he <laughs> called me back. Down there, beautiful red haired gal that's younger than I am for a year. And this is I'm just this is 70 years old, so I'm hey, this is in Oregon, so, bro. This is you, you know, plug it into your program. I'm willing to take the last you know, call to a 450 or 475 down payment and then take the rest at the end when you fix it and sell it. And you can give me a schedule on what you'll give me on that at different sales prices. That's fine with me. Right. Or, or, you know, you can say, well, we'll give, you know, a lump sum of this on sale. But I do need 475 or so out of immediately that as a down payment. I like that first number you threw out. How much was it that you wanted just cash? Oh, well, I think I told you I wanted to get 750 out. I thought you said 700. Well, 700. I might take that too. <laughs> cause, cause I think I'm ready to send you over a contract right now for 700. Really? Yes, sir. And that'd be a lump sum up front. Well, if you sound too, too excited, I might have to lower it down to 650. Well, no, I'm just asking, is it a lump sum up front? Yeah. Cash sale. You know what? Send me over the document for at 700. Hey. All right, hold on one second. I'm gonna send it over to you right now. And how we got to verify this is a deal? Yeah, exactly. Get my construction loan paid off. Let me let me ask my guy Patrick right now. He's he's actually from Portland, and he knows how long this is taking us right now. How long is it taking us? At, was it Chicago title? Chicago title, 30, 30 days. Thirty days. Thirty days. Wow. I need the money quicker than that to pay off the construction loan. It's but that's just how long it's taken title companies. I mean, there's nothing that I can do about that. That's how long it's taken them. Maybe less. I mean, we can push yeah. to make it less, but I mean, it's just I, I gotta well, I gotta get the title commitment get back and company out here and we can get it through quicker with. Oh, because this this title company because I'm gonna cover the closing costs first and foremost, so you don't have to cover any of that. And this is, I mean, dude. I'm basically like an owner of this title company. I mean, they do whatever I tell them to do. So I'm going to call them on Monday and I'm going to say, hey, listen, this guy's got to get this shit done faster. So we'll try to get it done in 21 days. But I mean, I just can't make any promises. I mean, we got Christmas. We got New Year's that we have to overcome. I mean, there's a lot that's going to be happening over the next 30 days. So, I mean, I can push to try to get it done faster. But I mean, this title Can company. background information real quick. Sure. What would you like to know? I bought this as bare land and built this house on it. Oh, he's going to give us and background. There's been I thought no he wanted my background. Searches made by local title companies in the last five years on it. Okay. And of course, when I had this most, when I had the recent construction loan, they did a title search. Okay. And that was only a year and a half ago. Right. So there, it's not a complicated title. Does that make sense? It is. It does. It makes sense. And uh, that's why I say, 
heck out here usually they get them through within a week or so uh, so that's why i say i could give you a name of a title firm well then uh, things have changed pretty significantly over the past year and a half with with covid and things like that i mean it, it is Right. I mean, it's going to depend on the title plant. It's not the actual title company itself. They all have plants that they're pulling these commitments from. But like I said, I mean, uh, I want to get this can done. You give them a call and, uh, and tell them how quick can you do this? Well, I'm, I mean, I, I'm telling you because, I mean, that's we, we, we're, clo we're actively closing deals all the time. I mean, I can tell them to try to put a rush on it, but. I mean, there's only so much that we can do with a third party and any third party. So, I mean, I can push to get it done as quickly as possible, but I just don't want to make a commitment on my end when it, we're talking about a third party's uh, their end of the bargain. Yeah, I understand. And I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I'm under the gun. My, I've got a balloon payment. When's it due? Construction loan people have figured out that if they can seize this from me, they'll make six seven hundred thousand dollars and they've had a, several losses lately and they're after trying to seize this property right when when is that due well i'm past due on the balloon payment but i made some payments and they worked with me okay but they said at the end of this month they're going to try to touch uh foreclosure paperwork at the end of this month and i'm told that that takes about two to three weeks. Uh, so you see why I was saying if we can do it by the first week of January after uh, after New Year's. And that's why I'm willing to sell this thing so much undervalue. Right. Uh, is because of that. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Well, okay. Now, now hearing this, I mean, how much do you owe on the construction loan? I actually owe... Hello? Payoff on the construction yeah. loan is going to be about four ten. Okay. Mm. I mean, I I believe surely if you went to them and you said, "Look, I've got a contract, and and we're set to close, you know, mid January," I, they're going to be willing to work with you. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you: lenders are not in the business of foreclosing. They're on the they're in the business of lending money. So that, I know it, but this guy fig has figured out he can make a quick half million off of this. I talked to him earlier. Well, I actually talked to him last Friday and told him that I had somebody that was going to do a rent to buy agreement with me. Okay. And that I could arrange the money to go into escrow and pay for the construction loan of what they were going to pay me on the rent and they were going to buy it for one and a quarter million and they said we don't care we're going to foreclose at the end of the month does that give you an idea who i'm dealing with it does i mean listen the only thing i could do is is it get you this agreement over right now you sign the agreement We'll get it to title tomorrow morning. We'll tell them the importance of what's happening. And we just, we bull rush this as much as possible and, and try to get it done before the end of the month. I mean, there's a possible, it's a possibility that we can make that happen. I just, I mean, we'll stay in active communication with you. I mean, but the first thing that we got to do is get escrow open and I can call my title company in the morning and, and tell them the importance of getting it done. But if they can't do it, then we can absolutely call around to as many uh, title companies as we possibly need to. You know, I, I mean, like that thought. well, I'll tell you what, why don't you email me that thing right now? I it's going to take me a while to read it and I want to read it. You know what I mean? I do. And why don't we touch base tomorrow morning first thing? And that'll give you time to check with the title company. It will give me time to have read it. And we'll know where we're at. How's that sound? I mean, it, it sounds okay. Um, but, I mean, we're, we're talking about tomorrow. It's Christmas Eve. I mean, I was not planning on coming in the office, but here I am talking to you right now, and I'm willing to, <laughs> to, to make some stuff happen for you. I mean, we're talking about this is a two-page document. I mean, 
I'd love to be able to read it together. I don't want to feel like I'm pressuring you, but man, you're you're asking me to to swing a seven hundred thousand dollar purchase, you know, in the next uh, in in the week between Christmas and then New Year's. And I'm saying, all right, I can I can make that happen, uh, but you know, I'd like to just let's let's get this moving, you know. Well, yeah, and it sounds like you're going to do your best to get it swung by the first of the year. Right. And it'd probably be better for you to get that money out of your funds by the end of the year. If uh, You're absolutely if, correct. Yeah. So what you're telling me is if I sign it tonight and execute it. Correct. That you'll do your best to get it done next week. That is correct. That sounds pretty good. And what I'm thinking is, if you're doing your best, it won't take much past the first of the year to get it done. That is correct. Well, that ought to be soon enough that they can't foreclose on me because they have to send me a letter. You've probably been through that. Yes, yes. You know, they have to send me the notification and give me a few days to pay it off. Correct. Okay. So here's the deal. I just emailed you the contract. Okay, I'm sitting in front of the computer. Let me get it up. Okay, there's my email. What email address did you mail it to? I sent it to. There it is, titanium documents. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm clicking on review document okay <laughs> all track cash transaction and you're buying this place as is right correct You're saying closing on 114, but we expect to do it quicker than that, right? Honor before, yes, sir. Oh, yeah, it does say honor before. It's Chicago title. Okay, it says the contract is contingent on inspection. Correct. How are you going to get an inspection done? Not an inspection. Like I'm going to come out there and, and look at it. You know, we're going to come see it. I got to make sure, you know, there's actually four walls there standing, you know. I have actually got inside and outside pictures and a lot cladding showing floor plans that I could email to you right now. Well, I'm saying I still want to come out and see it, you know. But I mean, listen, I'm I'm not going to go through all this to, to cancel. Con- I'm, I don't mess with people's lives. You, you have told me your situation. If I didn't think I was your solution, I would tell you that. I've already told five people tonight. I'm not your, your guy. I'm telling you, I'm your guy. I can get this done. So, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to expect to come out and see the property. Yeah. I actually, if you see the property, you'll know. Tell them to Google you. Then what I'm telling you. Right. Uh, One thing is this place I've done all the inspections on it, but they haven't given me a certificate of occupancy yet. Does that change it? No, we'll we'll, we'll get that taken care of. I just need listen. I we the main thing for me is we just need to get escrow open. I need to get my guys out there to take a look at it, determine what we're doing, and get the title company get us a title commitment so we can get your loan paid off before they foreclose. That's what's going to happen. That is what I'm looking for, sir. Well. I'm sitting here thinking about this mulling on it right now. And with 700000 up front, and you telling me good stuff, wow. Merry Christmas. Let's do this, Wendell. I understand. I'm twisting this thing around. Uh, let me read one other part.
Okay, I was reading the defects, and we're good to go there. Okay, we're good to go on the judgments. I see you, Kenneth. Nice script. There shouldn't be any problem with uh, lock boxes or anything like that. I can meet you here if you want to do a walkthrough. Right. Okay, sounds good. And the way you're buying it ca all cash up front, you're going to be in possession of it, nothing flat, before you get a contractor in here. Correct. Okay. Risk of loss. That's just in case the, the thing blows away before I can buy it. This place is indestructible. It's 160 cubic yards of reinforced concrete. I know. I'm writing a check for 700000 for it. I know. Yeah, and I didn't tell you, it's got modeling by a professor of earthquake engineering showing it would withstand a 9.0 earthquake with no visual damage. Nice. It's my fortress. And all of, yeah, and all of the electrical is in conduit. Love it. Can I get you to give me 25 more thousand? No. <laughs> no. Well, let, let me ask my helper. I have somebody that says if I sign, Doc, you sign this now for 700,000, you'll try to have it done before the first of the year and it's all the cash up front. Think we ought to do it? I think that's where you're headed, then yeah. If he's going to do that by the first of the year and you got it from contract, absolutely. Well, you heard what the advice was, Jimmy. I heard it. That's a smart woman right there. Well, she's not my woman. She's a helper. <laughs> she's smart. She's a good helper. Right? Okay. When are you going to fly out and look at this place? I got people there ready to go. We'll probably be out there Monday. That's not a problem. I'll be here and show them through it. There you go. Okay. I've got it initialed. I've got it signed. Let's see. You want a phone number on this? I know. That's silly since we're talking on the phone. Okay, I've got the, the phone number in there. All I got to do is click finish. I do like this for 700000 At least I'll get $300,000 cash when I walk out of this place. There you go. And I am so tired of being here. There you go. Just click finish. I clicked finish. There you go, Wendell. Oh, All right, buddy. Told me to log in. <laughs> no, no, no. That it, it's done. It's done. You're it's signed. It just it automatically takes you to that screen. What was your name again? My name is R.J. Bates. Well, R.J., I signed it and hit it, and it's probably coming back to you as a done deal, isn't it? Yes, sir. All right, Wendell. You have a great Merry Christmas, and uh, we'll talk to you. We might call you on Sunday just to get things set up on Monday, but we'll we'll definitely be in touch contact no later than Monday, okay? That sounds good. Thank you. All right, bye bye. Okay. That was a good call, RJ. <laughs> she, she said, "Who's RJ?" Flag on the play. Flag on the play. Hang on, everybody. We have to delegate. One moment, Gene. Well, well, hello. We have to do some delegation. Not only did the call start at two hours and 26 seconds, but we never heard the intro. So first and foremost, we're going to have to do a review on the play. So first off, we can agree that the call was great. Now, RJ, we're going to have to put you, uh, have you, have you put in the private chat what lead this was? Just please put the information. We can make sure that it was on the lead list. You're muted. 
I muted you. On the history of this, I called at. Hold on, let me. I called at. How can I get this to work? Just hold it for a second. 501, and he called me back at 601. Can y'all see that? We can see that. Okay. So he called me back because I left him a voicemail saying, I'm calling you about this property. And he's called me when Aaron was on the phone and said, you called and said you're calling about this property? Boom. There you go. Hey, which uh, can you tell me the city? RJ, uh, it was uh, South Beach, South Beach, Oregon, South Beach, Oregon. Okay. So Gene, uh, Gene, what's your vote on this? You think that this is this is going to be an allowed one, even though it was a little bit after the uh, the finish line? Oh, dude, it's a close call. I I can't. I don't. I don't know. We're gonna. I think uh, we're gonna bring in. We're gonna bring in a. Uh, we're gonna bring in a biased source here. You know what? Actually, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let you, the audience, decide on whether or not this is gonna be an allowed call. Okay. I am putting a poll together right now. Okay. Hang on, everybody. This poll will be created in just a moment. All right. Hey, you know what? What what I think is that if we do if if the if the if we do get if it does count, then I think we've got to have uh we've got to have Aaron. We we, we got to give one Aaron more call. Aaron gets one. Aaron gets one more call. One, one more call. call. I think we also got to have Aaron for like a whole night, man. Yeah, there we go. I has a comeback. So this year, guys, go to this link right here and make your vote. We will have it. It's 625 my time right now. It's almost 626. We'll give you guys two minutes to vote. All right, two minutes to vote. All right, I'm putting this link in the chat multiple times. All right. Today has just been close. In the meantime, take a look at this. Are you looking to implement pay-per-click advertising into your real estate business? iSpeedTheLead.com is an a la carte PPC marketplace, allowing investors to get into the world of PPC on a budget. Browse and purchase PPC leads a la carte from all around the United States. These leads are from motivated sellers who want to sell now. So if you want to find motivated sellers using PPC, go to iSpeedTheLead.com. We got you. Okay, Gene. The people are voting right now. The people are voting. Dude, I see some people. Oh, I see some people don't want to see. Uh, don't want to see a rematch, huh? Look at that. I think some people do want to see a rematch because I mean, when we're looking at it, both of them had their hot streaks, so they had a couple calls in a row. Some of them had their cold streaks, so it was just voicemail after voicemail after voicemail. I think both of them had such good calls today. I mean, it's tough. But I think that really what it's going to come down to, if RJ got this contract signed live and people are allowing it to pass, they're calling it good, that I think there's probably going to be the big big decision maker. So this is, is this is this the one we got signed? There's just one that got, that got signed so far, right? Just the one that got signed tonight. Okay. Right. Any other offers sent out? No, um, I think there was some stuff that was to be discussed. Yeah, Aaron well, did go well, one Aaron, sent out. Aaron to sent be out an actual contract, right? Yep, so Aaron got a contract out. sent out. And I'm requesting from follow up. She received it, guys. Yeah. I think that the votes here are a pre foregone conclusion. It is currently 93.55 percent in favor of allowing this to pass. Let's just bring RJ on and see how he feels about it. <laughs> so listen, Aaron and I had an agreement. When I called him about the the challenge, I said we would. He said, "How long are we going to go?" And I said, "Roughly two hours. We could go as long as you want." Correct, Aaron. Bring bring Aaron on here. Come on, let's bring. Okay, let's bring. Let's bring. Aaron, isn't that what we talked about? Yeah, that is one hundred percent what we discussed. That's what we talked about. Yeah, and look, it was. This is what's going to happen in real life, right? You call. And an hour after I started calling, you got a call back while I was on this call, didn't you? I, I did, I did, I did. I, and I was, I was actually working it. I was, and here, here's why I'm also in favor of it. I, I don't look, I don't like to lose. I don't like to lose, but I am in favor of it because I was hoping to close that one while I was on the phone, and, right. and I was hoping to count it, and that was after yours. So I can't, I can't be hypocritical, man. And I didn't, I didn't get it closed. I didn't get it closed. So. I was hoping you would do it too. 
Because then it was going to be like, hey, we got to figure out some high tech stuff here where if two people are on the <laughs> phone, because with the callbacks, that happens, you know? Mm -hmm. So look, I it's funny because when when you're calling, it feels like, hey, this is pointless to leave this voicemail. But because I left that voicemail, he was so excited to call me back. He was like, you want to buy this property? I need to sell it right now because you heard his story. I mean, he's facing foreclosure in, you know, a matter of a week. So, and it's a great deal. Yeah. I mean, this is, this, beachfront property. this yeah, y'all didn't hear the part. This is a concrete, there's no wood on the property. Okay. It is a concrete fortress that is. 80 feet above sea level on the beach in Oregon. And it's literally surrounded by million dollar properties or multi-million dollar properties. And it's on four <laughs> acres. Like, I don't even know what we're going to make on this. Like Gene, you might be rich just off of this lead. Okay. Dude, I think I, dude, Oregon is like, is, I mean, oh, I love Oregon. We have customers that are making a lot of money. Washington I love State Oregon. It's one of my favorite like on the radar too. Oregon is way on the radar. All right. So did we agree that, that Aaron gets one more? Aaron, do you want to try to get one more? Aaron gets one more dial. Encore. Let's go. Let's yeah, go. I mean, Encore. I mean, look, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh pass Are you up the opportunity. Are no, you conceding? No. Nah, man, come on. Look, I don't I <laughs> this have, shit's I addicting, have, man. Yeah, come that's on. not even in my blood. That's not even in my blood. <laughs> All right, let's do one more. Let's do one more, man. Let's do one more on them. All right. All so right. this person, you got a triple dial, and if they pick up, they pick up. If they don't, they don't. All right, bet. Suspense. Please leave your Dang it. it. All right, I'm, I'm double tapping it. Sometimes some of these some 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 of these phones sound like they're they're picking up, man. They do, yeah, they do. If you're not signed up on iSpeechLead.com, completely free to sign up, no subscriptions. You only pay when you choose to buy a lead. About to hit 3,000 members within a couple of days here. That's crazy. Please leave your message for. Nada, nada, la monada. Everybody, right. everybody, what's happening right now is there's a link going in the chat, and this link is going to decide who wins. Who wins, everybody? So you guys get your votes in there. This I'll is the one for this. all the money. This is going to be big, all right? So, guys, yeah, well, get your votes I in there. I love this polling thing, man. That's awesome. That's super fast. Right, I just, just voted for myself, up. Aaron. I, knew, yeah, I was literally just about to say, um, RJ, I don't think we're allowed to vote, but okay. I, cool. I, I just... I was I the first vote in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have like six devices right here that I can. W Wendell, <laughs> Wendell, my my seller was the second vote in. There we go. <laughs> so, <laughs> Jeremiah. All right, Aaron. I, I think you you can definitely come back. Five people voted for him? What is wrong with y'all? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, man. Manny Blue, this deal was in Oregon. So I, I will say I, I already uh, invited someone back in January for a, a second – for a rematch. All right. Guys, this, the closer's cage match is going to become – a very regular thing. We want to be having challenges all the time. And you know what? This is going to be RJ Bates. He said he's going to be the Stone Cold Steve Austin of the CCM. Closers cage match, baby. <laughs> I challenged Nick Luivano. Well, hang on, RJ. I think, you know, the votes are in. I think that that's a pre-foregone conclusion. But now you got to look in the camera and say it with oh, your chest yes. and let him well, know. Well, I, 
I already did it, but listen, last year I faced Nick in the Closers Olympics. I felt like he was the second best closer in the 2020 Closers Olympics. For whatever reason, he wasn't participating in the 2021, and, and look, this is supposed to be educational, okay? So I want to bring on Nick for the January, for whatever round I'm going to do. I want to bring on Nick uh, and challenge him. He's already accepted. So uh, Nick Luivano, come on down, challenge the king. Aaron, you put up a good fight tonight. Oh, yeah. I was, I was, this is why I wanted you to come because I, I felt like you uh, – you did not get a fair shake in both closers Olympics. And you didn't get the showcase. Yeah, you did the Olympics. Yeah, from the lady. Hey, couple couple days from now, that contract will probably get signed. You had to report with her. You had to yeah. report the ass. I, I yeah. saw that. You know, once once Aaron got on that hot streak of everybody picking up, and he had that great call where he got that contract signed out. Well, I saw that sweat, you know, starting to get under RJ's hat just a little bit. But then, of course, RJ comes in clutch, just like in the Olympics, where he got that verbal within the last, like, three seconds. Hey, real quick, someone said challenge Steven Morales. I did challenge Steven. Steven was not available. He was actually the first person because I, I felt like Steven should have made the finals this year. Yeah. Felt like he should have made the finals last year. He didn't. Uh, so I did challenge him. He's unable to make it, but he did say he might be down for February. So. Listen, I, I don't want to shy away from anybody. This is why I brought Aaron on here for a reason. Not because yeah. I thought I was going to win. I wanted Aaron to showcase his skills because I didn't think he got to do that in the past two Closers Olympics. I'll say this. I'll say this. You got a lot uh, of voicemails. I will, I will yield. I will yield to, to RJ Bates, the King Closer. I'm gonna, I want to let you know as a fan who I would like to see. I would like to see on this show – all right, and I, and I want this to be recorded and sent out. <clears throat> I need for everybody to tag him. I need for everybody to send this out. This is who I would love to see. This is what I would love to see. I would like to see Pace Morby versus RJ Bates on the I Speed to Lead Challenge. And here's why. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. I think that uh, some of these other guys that RJ just named are incredible closers. However, there's certain people, there's certain people, you know, who are just absolutely prolific. All right. And RJ Bates is one of them. Right. As much as I'm a sore loser and I hate to lose, it's like, you know, you lose to RJ Bates. It's like, bro, I lost to RJ Bates. So, so, you know, RJ Bates is one of them, but Pace Morby is a force to be reckoned with. And I think that this would be like Iron Man and Thor coming together to battle. And I need to see this. All right. So everybody who's watching it, by the way, I'm not, this is not scripted. I'm not paid to say this or, at all. But if you're watching this live, I know there's over 200 people across our different platforms watching this. I tag Pace. If you have Pace's number, text him, right? I want to see Pace versus RJ Bates. And I don't want to have to wait until next year's Closers Olympics. To see. Here, here's, here's what I'll say. If great. that happens, if he accepts the challenge, there's only one way that I'll do it that we have an allotted 10 hour segment to do it because I don't want to just beat him. Like I beat you. I want to beat the ever loving shit out of him when I get 10 contracts and he's still talking to the first one about what pancake syrup they had that morning and trying to explain what sub two is on the phone when I'm still locking up deals. So 10 hours, then we can do it pace. Otherwise, no thank you. Setting the pace. He's setting the pace, y'all. Oh, <laughs> you said the pace. I love it. Yes. Oh. You said it. Set the pace. Ooh. I love it. I love it. This is this has been this has been awesome, y'all. This has been absolutely awesome. Thank y'all for, for letting me be on this platform. Yes. It has Aaron, been a so ton much, of fun. Man. You you made it happen, bro. Thank you so much, brother. This is this is incredible, man. You Dude, you and I met, but like we we shared the stage in San Antonio a little bit, but like we didn't get to catch up, dude. It's watching you actually like do your thing, this is amazing. That's incredible, brother. Come back to Texas. Love it, guys. Hey, I'll be back everybody in, Texas in January. Hey, y'all have a very merry awesome. Christmas. All right, I'm gonna go uh, enjoy my win. Aaron, thanks, bud. You were awesome. And guys, See you, RJ. make sure to tag Pace and write that Aaron just 
challenge them to Hold do them to go head to head with RJ. Yeah. Wow, I, gotta, I guess I what I've got. See, I gotta see it, man. Good. Thank you for that's doing gonna that. That's gonna be so I, good. Be, hey, this that's that's an incredible call out. I I think that's that's gotta happen. Ooh, absolutely. You know, everybody, what I've got to say is, and this has been amazing. For those of you guys who tuned in today, we had over 200 of you live here at one point. Right now, we're still in about the 150 range. You guys were so strong at this. You guys want the beef. You guys want this. So what we're going to do is loud and clear, loud and clear. We're going to get the biggest names in real estate here to go head to head, right? Because we know there's a lot of people who talk the talk. They've got their courses. They've got their books. They've got their podcast. And when it gets to it, they don't know what's what. Now, what I think we've seen today is Aaron Bevins has proven that he can walk the walk. He doesn't just talk about it, right? So if you guys are interested in having one of the greatest mentors of all time, Aaron's got more than enough content, all this stuff, so many resources for you guys to tap into to show how he can smooth talk these sellers into getting these contracts signed. But further, we got to get more people on here and we will to see and make sure that everybody, I mean, just going to be, this is going to be the blue check mark of the real estate industry. Fuck whatever Instagram has to say. It's going to be a closer's cage match. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I think that's all we've got for you tonight. So we're just going to end it off with a little bit of an ad reel. Have a good night. Are you looking to implement pay-per-click advertising into your real estate business? iSpeedTheLead.com is an a la carte PPC marketplace, allowing investors to get into the world of PPC on a budget. Browse and purchase PPC leads a la carte from all around the United States. These leads are from motivated sellers who want to sell now. So if you want to find motivated sellers using PPC, go to iSpeedElite.com. We got you.